beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed as a believer, we discussed extensively the last time several things that the Holy Spirit would do in our lives, activating your spiritual senses, revelation and understanding of scripture, guidance and direction, renewal and transformation, birthing in you the fruit of the Spirit, and um, empowerment and, and so on and so forth. But the Bible says the Lord walking with them. They were moving doing all that they were asked to do but there was an invisible personality listen carefully working with them and his assignment in that context was to confirm that means to force things to comply to force things to comply to ensure that the word of the lord upon their lips notice the bible never said confirming their word no they spoke it but it was the word of God confirming the word with signs all kinds of diverse miracles signs and wonders now you would see Peter you would see John James moving alone and you would see supernatural possibilities possibilities that cannot be affordable to the natural man and the Bible gives us a mystery behind it it says that there is one walking with them can I use you Holy Spirit walking with them now you imagine for one minute that i'm walking with this guy and um as limited as i may seem my partnership with this gentleman is affording me certain possibilities for instance if i'm supposed to lift this and it's a bit difficult for me i can't lift it with one hand and assuming i have only one hand then you will see another don't lift it just touch it you'll see an invisible hand you are seeing only one person holding this but you are seeing the results of two people it says the lord walking with them are we together now walking with them so when it was time for peter in acts chapter 3 4 right to lift that guy at the beautiful gate it was just peter and john you thought but it was peter john and the spirit of the living god when peter held the hands of that man there were two people holding his hands it's only that one is visible and that's the one you see and he lifted him listen i want to teach you the mystery behind the strange results of many people you see ordinary men but results that are superhuman results that are beyond the scope of men I was so blessed by the testimonies of the wonderful people and those testimonies are signs they are proof that you are not alone hmm. are we together now it's one thing to be aware that the holy spirit is available it's one thing to even receive him but it's another thing to walk with him working with the holy spirit is an entire aspect of a believer's life there are many people filled with the Holy Spirit, 
born again but they have not mastered the art of partnership let me show you a scripture i found this scripture and it blessed me so much isaiah 48 thank you you come back shortly isaiah 48 verse 16 isaiah 48 verse 16 i want us to read it is projected one to read come near unto me hear ye this i have not spoken in secret from the beginning from the time that it was and there am i now i want you to read this is the part i want us to read together one to read and now the lord god and his spirit has sent me who sent you the lord god and his spirit other version says the lord god alongside his spirit that means the lord did not send you alone he sent you and attached the holy spirit like i would send you to the bank um well it's not a good analogy but let's let's just assume i would send you to the bank and give you an atm machine that atm machine is what will give you the capacity to be able to withdraw money you can go to the bank on your own you can stand before the machine but you need another agency outside of you this is the mysterious yet simple reason <laughs> result um, um how do i put it now um um factor that's the word i'm looking for behind the results the mysterious results of people you're looking at koinonia for instance and you're seeing amazing things that's why we say it is by the spirit by the spirit it's only in partnership with the holy spirit that certain things can be done listen human beings are limited it's a revelation i want you to get used to no matter how intelligent no matter how educated no matter how civilized there is only so much the three-dimensional realm can afford you it takes an understanding that your victory and my victory your triumph and my triumph in life is exclusively non-negotiably a product of my partnership with the holy spirit understanding him his ministry and learning how to align and then you will produce wonders wonders that will shock you jesus himself the bible tells us that when jesus walked upon the earth for 30 years ladies and gentlemen his life was as ordinary as anything the living logos the word of god we never saw him prophesying to anyone doing anything no he was just in the temple learning like any other student nothing ordinary extraordinary about his life and then the bible tells us that one time he went and saw john baptizing people and when he was baptized watch this the heavens became open over him and a voice spoke this is my beloved son etc etc then the bible says the holy spirit drove him to the wilderness and he fasted for 40 days and so on and so forth satan tempted him and afterwards the bible says he returned in the power of the spirit the next time we hear of jesus christ is turning a city upside down the next time we hear of jesus cripples the dead rising the sea the elements of creation obeying him and they asked jesus what the secret was and he was not ashamed listen listen carefully jesus himself revealed to us a very deep secret in john chapter 15 john 15 please give it to us john 15 john chapter 15 my hell you most high i am the true vine and my father is the husband man so we are seeing that there is a participation of multiple people the results that we saw in the life of jesus saw in the life of the early church jesus is telling us that this is not just a one-man show some are visible some are invisible but there are forces there are personalities working together to make this thing happen verse 2 every branch in me that beareth not fruit it take it away so branch in me branch in me that means he is different from the branch he said i am the vine you look at a tree but there are specifications all of them are not doing the same thing there is one responsible for producing the fruit there is one responsible for making sure the branch is healthy this
this is called partnership it's called partnership a participation a distribution of assignment like a husband and a wife he supplies money take ten thousand naira and he sits down happily in the parlor you would think he's irresponsible but he has played his part and the wife goes to the market buying all kinds of things and goes to the kitchen and you see her working so hard you will think the man is wicked wait until it's now time for the child's school fees you see the woman singing praises in the morning while he's calculating how to raise the money partnership and love is so powerful that sometimes they help themselves ah this is where the mercy of god comes in there are times that the the woman may be incapacitated and the man says look i know that it is your role to work in the kitchen but i love you so much we are a team if you fail i still fail so i can come into the kitchen that's why you see the holy spirit sometimes can move even beyond the jurisdiction of his work and step into your life and you see things you know that you did not finish keeping the principles that should produce the result but he came in spirit of god are you learning something now the lord and his spirit has sent me how many people in this world you see people say i'm alone i don't even know what is happening that statement is a product of ignorance listen very carefully that statement hear me please is a product of ignorance it looks like a well-meaning lamentation over the vicissitudes of life but that is a communication it's an embarrassment it's a every time you act helpless you make the holy spirit look irresponsible listen um let me use a lady to come watch this now we are going maybe to the market and there is a distribution of work and i'm saying tosin work with me you are going to help me make some purchases are we together now now look at this please if we get to the market and let's say we are going to buy a cow and we stand and there are several cows they check the cows and we find out that these cows are healthy cows we are ready to buy it and all of a sudden tosin is shaking are we together are you following my my example tosin is shaking and then the people are asking her madam why are you shaking and she says huh i i just hope that we'll be able to buy this cow who is who will take the shame i'm standing there as a responsible personality i was the one who asked her to go and buy a cow it was not her opinion are we together now and i'm standing and only because they said the cow is 150,000, she's shaking two things will cause that one she does not know me or number two is an act of rebellion she has done something that makes her perceive that my partnership has been cut away now fear is as a result of her consciousness that she's not holding the money in her hands it doesn't matter who holds the money the most important thing is let payment be made you see why we have a lot of fear oh god you are leading me to do certain things but lord based on what i have there are things god does not give you it is your partnership with him he is the one who does the payment but the flesh wants to hold the money by yourself lord i want to be let it be that the anointing is like a charm if there is an anointing where is it that's why we like oil that's why we like things we can hold and the holy spirit says this journey is by faith if you are going to pray for the sick there is nothing on your hand you are going to have to believe that i'm there partnership let me tell you this is my mindset i never walk alone you hear all of those results human beings cannot produce it no not with the the stringent academic um system that we have no sir partnership so she's standing unable to pay and i am more than enough to buy the whole cows there are we together but she has a price there's a there's a role that she has to play and this lady can be shaking there embarrass me and then without consulting me she can tell the cow seller sorry 
we accept an embarrassment we came here to disgrace ourselves it is not within our power and she reverses the interesting thing about the holy spirit is he's so gentle he will follow you so your limitation is not his limitation your limitation is your inaccurate understanding of the resources that are resident within him you are only looking at what you have listen 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 the greatest dimension of the faith work of a believer is not to receive things is to walk with the spirit you will not always receive there are things that will remain with him but you will walk he will be the doer you see this receiving is a nice thing and there is a dimension to it but most of this sense of reception is a communication of unbelief we just want to be in control is our obsession for control lord now that um you are sending me to this place how am i sure that you are going to help me father let somebody send me an alert now let me know i have my transport fare going and coming and the money to rent the venue and god will say no we are together in this say god i love you but um you are not the one who will pay the rent you see we make those kind of stupid statements lord i want an alert watch this if you get an alert now then you are happy and he said lord let's go and he says no it's difficult for me to take glory now because the alert is already in your the miracle is not your receiving the alert the miracle is walking with him entering a city where nobody knows you and you say she brakataya the spirit of god we're in this place and all of a sudden your trust puts pressure on him and a stranger comes from nowhere and says sorry it looks like you are what is the issue and you say well um i'm just coming here say what's your name are you sam i had a dream last night and i saw you are you the one that's how he's glorified so while you were sleeping the other part of the equation the spirit of god was already making arrangement that he did not inform you does not mean he did not do it this is where our unbelief is we always want god to give us all the details before we trust him no the mission is follow me follow me follow me lord you are sending me to zamfara what how are we how are we going to do this you must give me the details when will i marry how many children will i have will it be a girl or boy show me everything first and god says me i created the heavens and the earth i left a compendium of my integrity to convince you that i am able will i disgrace myself just because of you and we say lord keep talking all i know is that if i don't see it and handle it if you pay attention to what i'm sharing with you today your life will be a wonder yes because when people look at you they are only looking at the smallest part of the equation young Cho calls him my senior partner we are partners in this but i'm not alone so where you see me physically weak there is a mighty invisible force standing to back me you want to kill me you kill both of us you see that you want to curse me you curse both of us i agree that i can fail on my own but with god with him with him quarter to failure he will appear and manipulate the equation and you know that no 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 based on what this brother did you are supposed to fail but with the introduction of this personality he will alter everything change everything believers the partnership with the holy spirit is not for men of god the partnership the ministry of the spirit i will tell you what it is shortly but the partnership with the holy spirit is not some kind of thing for preachers so many people say wow this guy is called into the miracle ministry why not so you go ahead and try to know the holy spirit no the holy spirit was sent listen to me carefully as a strengthener as a comforter as an advocate 
the revealer of secrets he said then the secret was revealed to daniel until it was revealed he did not know cheap battles we have lost cheap battles in life because we've been fighting alone our parents have been fighting alone they are still fighting alone that's why people carry their certificates and say no no based on this certificate it must be and then when they are coming to god for help they don't just say god come and help me they say god see i'm a graduate so use it and god says please when i want to move you don't tell me how to move your job is to believe that i move don't hold a certificate and think that is the basis of me blessing you lord i have seven children they are all useless use them to bless me and god says uh -uh. i can save your children and lift your children but if i want to bless you it has nothing to do with using your children i can use anybody including your enemy the ministry of the spirit and the lord walking with joshua selman and the lord walking with koinonia producing results that you know are not human producing results you know defy the wisdom of men whenever you see an extraordinary manifestation of wisdom it's not just by studying no the holy spirit you can have knowledge but to create changes it takes power it takes the introduction of someone else that is not you someone once asked me a question a man of god he asked me a question and he said man of god how do you gather supposedly the best of everything how do you get worshipers that are so nice protocol people that are so nice is it that you apply is it that you do this and i laugh i i tell him do you think i have the power in myself to vet people and know don't forget that we're not alone spirit of god he knows how to draw them the same way he knows where your destiny helper is the same way he knows your geographic location but the trouble is this our own belief this our own belief we must listen we must walk this thing tonight to say lord i trust you and i believe in you he said but i know whom i have believed in and i am persuaded that he is able i am persuaded that he is able i'm persuaded that he is able i wish we had time and I, I allowed Pastor Alpha and his lovely wife to share with you the testimony of their child. How this lady gave birth. It was a, there were supernatural things that happened. He shared with me a bit of it. Let me just share one of it if you permit me, Pastor. There was a time the baby, it was like the baby was too big. Brothers and sisters, she pushed twice. The baby came out. They measured him a few minutes later on. And his weight, am I right? His weight had increased. Shrunk came out and increased back that's not a man you can get pregnant you can't shrink a baby it takes someone else with you this consciousness of not being alone this consciousness of not being alone our carnality our our sensuality is what makes us feel because i'm alone i don't see anybody that means there is no help no he said i will lift up my eyes listen onto the hills and he said from whence cometh my help he said my help comes from the maker the lord the maker of the heavens and the earth i will not leave you comfortless don't act comfortless jesus said it i will not leave you comfortless i will not leave you comfortless apostle you don't understand my situation my father is late my mother is late i sympathize with you but brothers and sisters if you knew what the holy spirit could do in your life if only you recognize his presence and give him room give him room the holy spirit is a gentle spirit he will not bump into your life when you make the holy spirit the chief influencer of your decisions you will be amazed at the miraculous things that will come from your mind what is the ministry of the spirit write this down i'm preaching this with all passion in my heart because this is one of the biggest secrets of my life
listen listen the bible says it is not good for man to be alone i know we talk of marriage this is marriage is a marriage is a borrowed is a borrowed phenomenon to represent something spiritual it is not good in other words man cannot be effective alone i will make a help suitable suitable in other words there are potentials in man but all by himself there are things he cannot do so i will make a help so when jesus sent the holy spirit as a helper is because he knows the bible says we do not have a high priest who has not been touched with the feelings of our infirmities he knows he will face financial troubles he knows that your health will be challenged he knows there are forces in the earth he knows that the world we live in is so unfair unfair and he left us his spirit the ministry of the spirit is a revelation the ministry of the spirit are you writing is a revelation on how a believer through fellowship and partnership a revelation on how a believer through fellowship and partnership with the holy spirit will produce extraordinary results will produce extraordinary results giving glory to god a revelation of how a believer an ordinary person an ordinary villager an ordinary uneducated person an ordinary orphan an ordinary widow an ordinary widower an ordinary third class graduate can come into partnership and fellowship with the holy spirit and they two together always will produce extraordinary results results that defy science defy logic listen you've heard me say it here it has become an anthem that when it is listen when it is the doing of man it is ordinary and relatable but when it becomes the lord's doing it becomes marvelous in our eyes when your career is just the normal pathway every graduate takes there is nothing worthy of applause but when it becomes extraordinary and supernatural then it is marvelous and listen John chapter 15 give us verse 8 please let me show you how God takes glory John 15 and verse 8 let's read one to read hearing this is how my father is glorified read on that ye bear what that ye produce results everybody say results shout it please results listen 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 the earth only responds to one language results results the end of your confession the end of your jumping falling around the end of whatever is to be able to produce results that men can recognize it is only through the results that men can see it's a demonstration of the might of god it is results that makes you a witness it is results that makes you an ambassador you are promoting the interest of a man and you have proofs for it are we together now when your life is barren of results especially extraordinary results god cannot be glorified it's impossible for god to be glorified there is a statement that he wants to use your life to make to principalities and powers and so he takes ordinary you ordinary you i don't say that in a derogatory way i know that we are in christ but you need to understand the dynamics every time we say we are in christ understand that we are the weaker part of the equation 
it is his love that makes us and his grace that makes us together it's not as if you are two like two intelligent business partners one has money one is an it guru then they come together no it is one totally weak helpless failure and another infinite personality coming into partnership are we together now so never mistaking the fact that when i talk of participation i'm not talking of a participation that is something you would have done outside god for without me ye can do nothing your own participation is alignment through obedience alignment through obedience that's all you are required to do that's your part of the equation in your work with the spirit there is only one assignment as far as partnership is concerned it's called alignment through obedience alignment you align to him and that happens through obedience obedience is a summation of every principle every law every strategy every dictate of god as revealed by his word to commit god to your affairs it's called obedience having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete the ministry of the spirit how many preachers today pray in tongues jump up and down believe they are filled with the holy spirit but they don't work with the holy spirit they go for programs alone they even pray in tongues to be filled with the holy spirit is not the same as walking with the spirit you are working with the consciousness of partnership with him i'm standing on this stage you are only seeing one man are we together now but there are two people you are hearing one voice but there is an invisible power behind that voice that will produce conviction are we together so i look at someone and i prophesy to you and say in the name of jesus may your life change can a man tell you that kind of thing you too you i mean you are intelligent can a man talk to you and change your life no you are hiv positive go and become negative just like that what pride without the holy spirit who gave you that audacity the centurion got it right for i am a man in partnership with an authority and based on that partnership i say to one go and he goes i say to one come and he comes jesus i know that you are standing here you are a 33 year old body but mysteriously there is an ancient spirit working in you and jesus said i've not found this faith this understanding no not in israel that ordinary men can walk with an ancient spirit and produce results that are bigger than them you see ordinary men but you see god's results let me show you the partnership of the spirit it says the lord is my shepherd as a result i shall not want he says he makes me to lie down i can refuse but my own partnership is compliance to lie down in green pastures he restores my soul he guides me he never forces me he guides me guides me the first the first proof that you are walking with the holy spirit is your submission to his leadership the first proof that you are walking with the spirit write it down submission to his leadership where his leadership is not an opinion where his leadership is not a discussion you don't do things the way you want to do there is an influence submission to his leadership and thou shall hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk he in it you can choose to refuse you can choose to argue look at me the first proof that a man is walking by the spirit is total submission to the leadership of the holy spirit lord if it be possible let this cup pass 
nevertheless not my will but thy will submission to the leadership of the holy spirit knowing that the holy spirit is god and according to jeremiah 29 11 it says for i know the thoughts that i think towards you say at the lord listen carefully they are thoughts of good or peace and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end that means i can be led of the spirit i do not even know but i believe by faith i've taught you something about the leadership of the holy spirit let me reiterate on it watch this let me use someone come please if this guy believes with all his heart that he is being led by the spirit or led of the spirit watch this if this guy believes that he's led of the spirit are we together and this is where the holy spirit wants him to go to but he takes a step this direction and he's doing it innocently with all sincerity believing he's led of the holy spirit the spirit of god will take the door and put it here to make sure he passes right this is the mysterious thing about working with god perfection is not a requirement sincerity is the sincerity of your heart <laughs> so it's, it's not it's not the issue of perfection of hearing god perfection oh god no 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 you will make so many mistakes trying to discern his voice but regardless of it his integrity is committed to making sure you get to the place of destiny this is our consolation there are many times paul wrote certain things and said i speak as a man this is my opinion it's not that the holy ghost gave me any understanding this is my opinion yet all together the bible says all scriptures were inspired how many including what paul was saying an opinion of a man he leads me and guides me to the city up above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny he leads me and guides me to the city of God, He leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. One more time. He leads me and guides me to the city of God. He leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. Listen. Every time God speaks to you about your destiny he speaks to you as if he's talking to himself it will be so big god will tell you white men will come you are going to take over europe and you are watching little you and you are saying god don't mock me don't mock me how shall these things be mary said seeing that i know not a man and the angel said you have asked a good question it will not happen just because you have a womb the power of the highest there is a provision i'm just giving you the information so that you will align but it won't be only you i will call you into a healing ministry oh lord i have never healed a headache don't worry your job is to believe for when he comes then you will see wonders wonders listen this is what god told me many years ago yes to walk with him the holy spirit was introduced to me in a very strange way I've shared a few of those, those, those stories with you people. I wish I had time. I would have shared with you my encounters with the Holy Spirit. Just a little, naive, young, innocent boy moving around. And the Holy Spirit came like a guy who is looking for a wife. Ah, huh? He comes to propose to you. Joshua Selman, can you walk with me? And I turn you into a wonder and all your own belief says uh-uh based on what the newspaper and the history books told us you have to do a b c d there must be an uncle in civil defense an auntie in cbn then when you add that equation is equal to success and this stranger comes to you that you have never met and he says walk with me like a gentleman will come and hold the lady's hands and say i want to marry you it's a risk is that true and he says just believe me i don't look like it now but there are all kinds of potentials and that lady takes a risk and they begin the journey 
the journey of destiny 10 years later she is the wife of the person with the largest company in the whole world and you admire her no admire her risk admire the sacrifice admire that step of faith that even when she did not understand many people see what god has done in our lives today and they say apostle you are lucky no i'm not lucky no i'm not lucky no i'm not lucky it's better to even say i'm a benefactor of god's grace not luck where were you in the night when he came to me and said son trust me when he was speaking to me you were not there the same way god is telling some of us you may have come from a village you are the last born you can't speak english but just trust me and let me make a wonder out of you and many of us are saying oh god it can't work that way partnership when the holy spirit comes into your life he doesn't ask you your age he doesn't ask you your gender he doesn't ask you your education he doesn't ask you how many hours of prayer he doesn't ask you what revelation you know because all of those things are seeds they will still die no matter what the accomplishment is when a seed is big or small it will still die when he comes he says look i want you to trust me and let's work together then he will begin to guide you he will destabilize your life into nonsense because your plans your dreams your hopes everything scatters you think you are confused but he's leading you all of a sudden brothers and sisters one more step and you are into a life of beauty and glory oh lord my plan was to marry that lady my plan was to marry that guy why have you been stopping every brother coming and god says just keep walking with me when we arrive there you will look back and all the glory will be to him There are businessmen who have held his hands naive ignorant people they know nothing about business nothing about finances come they came from families that no destiny no future full of all kinds of causes and in their frustration he came to them and he said can you trust me and he said lord i don't have much oh. he says no problem i'm not asking you for much just give me your hands give me your hands <laughs> ah, and he will hold you step by step I remember when we were about to start Koinonia where would you get a big venue I saw these days in the vision and I said Lord there's no auditorium I know that can take people and I was praying and there he came Koinonia is not your ministry Koinonia is my ministry so let me guide you you are only the physical representation that they can see like a manager of a company but i am the owner let me guide you and i saw in a vision cgc how would i get the venue the venue was small but if he's leading you he will shake men he will raise donkeys he will make stone speak when he's leading you he will move all kinds of things the leadership many of us have been cheated in life because we have allowed over dependence on intellectualism to cheat us we have robbed ourselves of the simplicity and the foolishness of following him are we together yes brothers and sisters listen this battle is not your own if you leave it to the right fighter you will win you have been fighting a battle you have not this you are not I, I don't know i'm prophesying to somebody this battle is not your own it will kill you on your own it will kill you it will kill you that's the song the battle isn't yours but mine the battle isn't yours but mine god is speaking battle isn't yours but mine the battle is in yours oh god i am 25 years i am 27 years how will i ever be established in this life no uncle to help me that's nonsense that battle is not your own you were not designed to be established by yourself there is something that establishes men listen believe me when i tell you 
I live a fearless life. I don't live, I don't live a fearless life just because I am a macho man. I don't live a fearless life just because there's 10 naira in my pocket. I live a fear the day I discovered that I am never alone in the equation. I found rest. They got it very well. Find rest. Find rest. Look at this little boy, Pastor Alpha's son. He knows. I have a responsibility to breathe and live. This man has a responsibility to feed me. For as long as I remain his son. Many of us have become God to ourselves. That's why we are being punished day and night. Many pastors are almost dying. How do I raise money for church? As if you are the one who sent yourself. How do I gather members? One pastor is about to leave me. Pastor, why do you want to leave me? All that is nonsense. When you realize that you are not alone say i'm not alone prophesy it say i'm not alone yes and the lord walking with them and the lord writing exams with them and the lord walking with them and the lord building that house with them and the lord doing that business with him and the lord working on that job someone looks at you and says you'll be a failure in life you are going to fail i will make sure i frustrate you he's talking to two people he should know who the second person is frustrate who now because we're inseparable who are you going to frustrate me or the fountain of wisdom so when you see people run oh somebody said he will kill me in the village somebody said i will never marry over her dead body all of that is nonsense it is your faith they are working on and you believe it and receive it and your life begins to there are many of us constantly requiring um endorsement by people because we do not know that the spirit of the lord makes everybody a first class personality there are no second class people with god submission to the leadership of the holy spirit let me tell you one big secret in my life I never do anything until I hear God. Did you hear what I just told you? If God does not speak, I will not carry this speaker and leave it there. Now, the problem with many of us is we have been indoctrinated that God is always speaking. I respect those opinions, but based on the word of God and my experience, God does not always speak. He speaks but it's not like a robot talking in the fifth day of the tenth month of the tenth year the word of the lord came 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 the patience of knowing that when his voice comes what you call wasted time is rubbish when his voice comes it will bring you speed oh god my colleagues have gone and left me I've been a graduate for 10 years. What are you doing with my life? Most of them have even built houses. Let his word come. When the Holy Spirit comes and says, Son, it's time. You will not walk. You will fly. Oh, no, 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 no. He does not give you progress. He lifts you. Me. See, this is why you see some people quiet. And then all of a sudden, in certain seasons, they just explode. And you look at them and you are like, Ah! where did this guy come out from nobody comes out of nowhere it's a lie you just were not there during their times of dealings with the spirit if we launch a television station now all over the world for the next six months they'll say there's a channel koinonia tv my god come and see what is happening as though it just started no sir nobody just starts in on stage there is a track record of working with the holy spirit that's why you see i acknowledge him so much so much when you see me talk about the holy spirit it can annoy you i'm not copying benny Hinn. no it's a revelation take away the holy spirit from my life you will be so embarrassed by what is left it will not be worth it take away the holy spirit from my life i'm not worth your attention take away the holy spirit from my life i'm not worth your confidence but with him Now you be God 
Almighty God, for you know the man. You know the man. One more time. Now you be God. Almighty God. You know the man. Listen. Do you know the meaning of what you just said? You don't use human strategies. You are not a man. When he comes to hold your hands, he's not going to do the Y, the X. He's not that dull. He's called the Spirit of God. My ways are not your ways. Neither are my thoughts your thoughts. For as far as the heaven is, when God comes, you expect him to move you this way. And God says, let's start going back. And he says, Lord, the destination is there. He says, I know. Just go back. Ah, ah. Do you go back to go forward? You are just leading and you turn and you find out you are there. He, listen, he does not know the way. He is the way. It's not like he, he just leads you. He is the way. He said, I am the way. Have you learned to trust him? Show me what role he played in the decisions that you made. Show me what roles he's playing now. Show me the role of the Holy Spirit in your financial decisions. Show me the role of the Holy Spirit in your relationships, marital decision. Show me the role of the Holy Spirit in your ministry. Show me the role of the Holy Spirit in your academics. Ask your parents. That's the secret behind the failure of many of our parents. We cannot see how he led them. Pride and arrogance. I went to school. I've done this. I've done that. And life whips them left, right and center. And then you find a dear poor woman in the village. Oh Lord, I may not be educated. I don't have much. I can't preach. But Lord, I just have a little boy. If you can use me, if you can use him, and God says, These are the kind of people I want. Ten years later, at age 10 or 11, that boy is already doing wonders, and the woman is there. 20 years, 30 years down the line, he's already celebrated all around the world because an innocent woman, listen, there is nothing in my work with God. The, I know how to touch the heart of God. Let me tell you, surrender. That is the, is the best language of God in his dealings with men. Surrender. Lord, I can't do it. Lord, it is not in my power. I acknowledge you. That's music to his ears. I show you a secret to walking with the Spirit. Surrender. Surrender. Lord, I'm brilliant. Let me start. When I hook somewhere, I will employ you like a consultant and he watches you some of us have learned to die in his arms when you see me worshiping god i worship him like a fool i will roll from end to end lord what am i without you spirit of the living god you are the mysterious wisdom behind what i do when i was i was i think it was yesterday night into this morning I was just lying down and I said, Lord, imagine the mighty things you are going to be doing today. Healing people, blessing people. Imagine the thousands of people you are going to be gathering today. And the Lord told me something. As long as you keep walking with me, you will see my life in your life. My life in your life. That's what God told me this morning. For as long as you walk with me, you will see my life, not my hand. You see a man living, you know that this is another life. This is another result. That's why we keep going from glory to glory. That's why we keep going from dimension to dimension. That's why we never give credit to the flesh. Never give credit to the flesh. Now, the truth is men will clap for you. Men will say, wow, you are this, you are that. Sometimes the Holy Spirit will allow you. Don't stop them. Let them pat your back. But a wise person will go back and kneel down and say, Spirit of the living God, Look what you've done with my life. This is the way you father me. I love the way you father me. This is the way you father me. 
I love the way you father me This is the way you father me I love the way you father me This is the way you father me I love the way you father me Listen I show you a fail proof secret respect his voice respect his leadership whether it is comfortable to you or not I just believe that the end is peace your mind is too small to understand the ways of God I respect him I've lost the ability to tell God no if it is the voice of God and is the direction of God so be it ancient kings never went for war until they inquired haven't prepared the army they will either use divination or prophets or priests let us know god's opinion and god will say go i have given you victory the moment he spoke there was no fear again moses was confronted with several challenges notice how moses will always retreat back to god all right nation of israel there is a red sea standing before us i know what many of us would have done look um i'm an intelligent man just just allow me uh let me process this now moses said all of you calm down are you calm they said okay he ran to god and said god what do i do what do i do partnership what do i do partnership remember i said if your presence will not go with me i can't go i don't want any embarrassment and he said look moses don't be afraid stretch your rod Tell the people to move forward moses has said god please uh, can you just do something can you compress a cloud to become like a road let's use that strategy how can you tell a man to go and part water it's because it has happened that's why you believe it and all of a sudden moses went and nation of israel let's start moving and they looked at him they said you see this idiot is back from wherever he went to he's back as stupid as always he said we should die instead of him to just say i don't have a solution he's now saying god said but there was the invisible part they didn't know the moment he stretched forth his rod signs and the lord walking with moses confirming the word with signs how about joshua went round jericho and they saw it what is the strategy of god how do we defeat a city whose fence can sit five chariots the whole of cgc from here to here was still not the fence of jericho so even if the fence turned around it will still be another fence it sank and god said let me give you the strategy walk around once everyone's for seven days the seventh day move around seven times and he went foolish enough and said guys i've gotten the strategy they went around i can imagine a nation of israel listen even if you are afraid still obey while you are complaining be obeying lord i don't think i understand but let your legs keep taking you to the place of obedience faith is not fearlessness faith is the resilience to obey him to the latter regardless of what you feel The ministry of the spirit submission to the leadership of the holy spirit number two the second dimension of the ministry of the holy spirit is walking in the might the power and the grace of the spirit walking in the might the power the grace of the spirit where it is not your strength again I can do all things Philippians 4 13 through Christ which strengtheneth me the word Christ yes not just the person alone he's anointing the ministry of the Spirit is a ministry where a man has been overshadowed by the power of the Holy Spirit where you begin to walk by another agency you are the one carrying out the physical activities but the energy the might the power the wisdom the strategy is not yours 
watch this if i lift this keyboard or i lift this on one hand it's understandable you look at me and feel i should have power enough as an adult to lift that is that true but when i gather these four people no don't I, I, you think i'm going to do that when i gather these four people and i hold them and you see me lift them you are going to say i have jazz you will attribute it to an advantage that is tied to the realm of the spirit because human beings should not do that when you see a man use his teeth to drag a car please be wise there are two people dragging that car when you see someone in the market square putting his head inside a hyena's mouth and he doesn't enjoy him you see people do it in the market or someone shoot an arrow or cut themselves with knife there are two people there are always two people a human and a spirit when you see an old woman say you must die there are two people talking the old woman who is the medium and the spirit speaking when you ever become alone on earth you will die it's always a ministry of two you and the spirit of God and his power and his grace if you are not conscious of that oneness and you just drag yourself I want to go and pray for the sick how many people have died of sickness because they thought it's just because the Bible said it the Bible said it they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed God's word said it I believe it it settles it and you go and die because of ignorance you just go and lay hands on somebody and all of a sudden carry what is upon that person and produce casualty in your life there is the dynamics of the operation of the word it starts with the Holy Spirit it is his power that produces the results when you speak do you speak alone or are you just an echo of the real person speaking John said I am the voice of one crying I'm not the word but I am the voice I allow that word to find expression brothers and sisters this is the secret of this ministry you see operating under open heavens the power of the spirit the might of the spirit John chapter 3 verse 1 Nicodemus comes to Jesus by night and then he says rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from God for no man here it is no man can do these things except God be with him except God be with him no man can become fulfilled in one year except God be with him no man can defy all of these things except God be with him your results are ordinary although you look like you are filled with the Holy Spirit although you are praying in tongues but you have not come into the eternal consciousness of your oneness with him two people becoming one here's a statement that is made during marriage and it was God himself that made that statement therefore what God has joined let no man put that means only God can put us under what God has joined who joined you and the Holy Spirit please help me so the principle is still applicable what God has joined that partnership with the Holy Spirit no man should be able to put asunder no charm should be able to put asunder no limitation should be able to put asunder because he was joined by God it's not an opinion of man your background notwithstanding when he supplies you power when he supplies you grace you activate possibilities in your life that cannot be done by a normal human being when he does something to your brain you will now see that four points five points is not something you should sit down and dream about it is a possibility that can happen when he anoints your hands then you now know that your hands may look ordinary but you can shake somebody and change his life forever when he anoints your words then you will know that speaking is not just about grammar 
there is a life that flows through it and produces results i know the smartest communicators around and they are unable to do much for the kingdom it takes more than speaking good english to drag people it takes an ability he's working in me he's working in me it's god's ability it's god's ability it's working in me it's working in me no matter how frail i look god's ability it's god's ability it's working in me it's working in me God's ability is God's ability. It's working in me. That's what the ability of God can do. It's the ability of God that has put us in over 45 nations of the world. Not been there, never been on TV. It's an ability of the spirit. Is the ability of the spirit that has brought his breath upon our teachings that are changing people around the world is the ability of the spirit the miracles and the signs and the wonders the ability the crowds that you see gathered here there is no man walk around this city you are not going to see one coin on your poster the one billboard that was put was taken away it's making it's, it's made no difference because you see brothers and sisters there is a force it's called an akazo. It's a compelling power. The power of the spirit that compels men into the will of God. That's the ability that will come upon you and drag destiny helpers to your life as if you are charming them. Yes. Yes. This is what God has done. Over 80% of the people who bless this ministry, I don't know them. I have never seen them with my eyes. I don't know how they got the ministry account details. Over 50% of, what am I saying? 50% of the people that bless me, I don't know them. I've never seen them. I don't know how they got my details. It's God's ability. When his power is upon your life, he will shock you. Shock you. They may see ordinary you. Ordinary you. But then there is an ability of the spirit he said there is this treasure listen carefully in earthen vessels that the excellency of power might be of god the ability of the spirit working in us acts chapter 19 please quickly i want us to find somewhere and begin to pray now acts chapter 19 we are reading 11 down to 20 but we'll jump some verses acts chapter 19 let's see what happened to a man when the power of the holy spirit was upon him it says and god who wrote the miracles please help me who wrote the miracles but who did the sick people see the sick people saw who paul but who was doing the miracles in koinonia who is doing the miracles but the one you can see is joshua selman so you say wow this guy is powerful you are not wrong except for the fact that when you come to me i will redefine it and tell you it's true joshua selman is powerful but in christ and god wrought special miracles through the hands of paul so that from his body were brought onto the sick handkerchiefs and aprons and the disease departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them are we together then talks about the sons of skiva and what happened to them let's go to verse 16 it says and the man in whom the evil spirit was left on them and overcame them and prevailed over them do you know why because they thought it was just about talking be healed be healed when you see a man ministering by the spirit it looks so easy you can think it's so easy till you try it that's what these guys did no partnership with the holy spirit and they wanted god's result and the demoniac pounced on them 17 we're reading down to 20 and this was known to all the jews and greeks also dwelling in ephesus and fear fell on them all and the name of the lord jesus was magnified 
and many that believed came look at this look at what the power of the holy spirit was doing and confessed and showed their deeds 19 and many of them which use curious acts mantras and scientific books books that they use with divination those things became obsolete brought their books together and burned them before all men and they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver brothers and sisters 50,000 anything is money are we together mm. 20 so mightily grew the word and prevailed so mightily grew how by the results that were communicated it takes power to produce the result that dumbfound men listen you can criticize but you cannot withdraw power no you can't withdraw it from careers of it this thing comes upon you and is upon you and it remains for as long as you keep working with god it will only keep multiplying i wish i had time i would have shared with you i've not even touched so much of the things that i want to share but um we'll find somewhere to stop tonight no notable achievement in life is ever done by a man alone it is always done by a man and a spirit either a demonic spirit or the spirit of the living god there is no man in his ability please hear me brothers and sisters no matter how sophisticated you are there is a limit to your ability so he empowers you and i'll tell you why he empowers you acts chapter 1 verse 8 acts chapter 1 verse 8 when you begin to read from verse 5 jesus was talking to them and then they told him they said will you at this time restore the nation of israel and he said it is not for you to know the times and the seasons that the father has put in his care and then verse 8 says but ye shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and ye shall be what one more time one more time a witness is one who validates the claims of another are we together a witness is one who proves that the person testifying is not lying there are many things that god has said in his word and satan is saying is a lie so he empowers you to be a witness so they see a young man a young woman grace upon your life he has said i will restore the years that the canker worm has eaten the parma worm has eaten and satan says it's a lie it can't happen so god says let me use somebody as a specimen he finds someone that is 10 years backward and then he tells creation watch me now and in five months he turns that person to a wonder you know how you prove a mathematical equation and you write qed not open to debate anymore i've proven it i've said it and i've done it that's what god is about to do with someone's life there are many statements that god has said but satan is saying it's a lie watch what happens to you when his power comes upon your life listen the power of the spirit does not throw people down the throwing people down is just the impact of his presence the power of the spirit lifts people to unimaginable realms unimaginable dimensions unimaginable dimensions let's look at two scriptures i saw a scripture that really 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 blessed me and i thought that we'll just look at it second second corinthians chapter 6 and verse 1 it says we then as what workers together with him like you are talking to a workforce there are times that we have the workforce meeting here in the ministry and it's just exclusive for workers so god is talking here he said we then as workers together with him say i'm a worker together with him say it again i'm a worker together with him when you are a worker with him then you will produce extraordinary results you will produce unusual results this thing i'm teaching you has no respect for gender some of you are sitting looking at me and saying can god do anything with me ah. 
the God of heaven that I know can turn your life around in ways that you will not imagine read from Genesis to Revelation he met ordinary people turn them around ordinary people turn them around ordinary Jesus turned him around ordinary Peter turned him around Stamara Moses turned him around young fearful Joshua turned him around weak feminist Deborah turned her into a warrior he will not suffer my food to be moved I carry your presence everywhere who am I your mind is so full of me Awesome God, I'm just a awesome and you are the awesome God. In a few minutes now, we are going to begin to pray, and you will watch him once again in action, doing wonders, changing lives in split seconds. Disease is dissolving. Watch this. In split seconds, deliverance is happening. In split seconds, impartations happening. Brothers and sisters, a man cannot bless you like that. Oh, learn this. No. But he will not suffer my food to me. For I carry his presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. Awesome man, awesome. I'm just a awesome man. But you are the awesome God. I'm just a awesome man, awesome God. Listen, say in the name of Jesus. From today, I walk in the consciousness of the leadership of the Holy Spirit I submit to the leadership of the Holy Spirit I submit to his anointing I will never try to do anything without his anointing without his empowerment without the unction of the Spirit together with the Holy Spirit my life becomes an awesome wonder that's right. That's right. I know some of you think I'm just talking. Help that lady under the anointing there, please. I know some of you think I'm just speaking and making noise. No, sir. We are not teaching you cunningly devised fables. That which we have seen. That which we have heard. That which our hands have handled. This is what we bring. The sickness in your body can leave because he is here. You see that? The disease in your life and all these things can leave because he is here. The oppression in your life, the retrogression, the mountain that stands before you, you have been staring at it for years. Can you shift back and let your senior partner stare that mountain for you and watch the way he will dissolve it? Your, your calling it a mountain is relative to your perception step back and let the creator of the heavens and the earth the one who the mountains keep like lambs before him hallelujah let's end with this scripture daniel 11 verse 32 i have to stop here so we'll pray daniel 11 and such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries he says but the people that do know their God not their neighbor's God but the people that do know their God the first thing that should happen to them is capacity in the spirit and the second thing that happens to them is that they are graced to do exploits listen brothers and sisters this thing is not by might Zechariah chapter 4 give it to us please and verse 6 it is not by might it is not by power 
is by the spirit the empowerment of the spirit when you walk with the holy spirit he empowers you to represent him when you walk with the holy spirit he takes away fear from you your life no longer becomes a thing of fear this fear all around is a product of our thinking that all the results will come from us the bible says then he answered and spake unto me this is the word of the lord unto zerubbabel unto joshua selman unto koinonia saying not by might you won't build that house by might you won't build it by power no your cgpa will not change by might not by power reducing your prayer time will not change it throwing away your good friends will not change it it is by the spirit the next time people ask you how was this result by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit koinonia by the spirit his wisdom upon us by the spirit leadership by the spirit the miracles tonight by the spirit the impartation by the spirit i have learned to walk with him i have learned to walk with him i have learned to walk closely with him he promised me listen the holy spirit never promised me money the holy spirit never promised me fame listen carefully the holy spirit never promised me title the holy spirit never promised me good clothes the holy spirit never promised me crowds the holy spirit never promised me ministry but he promised to be a representation of the presence of god and to empower me continually the only thing he promised me is still what he is keeping because every other thing the highest value a man can have on earth is to be anointed the highest value you can possess on earth is to sustain an ability to provide solutions that are supernatural Where your word becomes his word the holy spirit has possessed me like a demon literally every part of me every part of me when i speak is his voice when i bless is his authority when i command it is his authority speaking it is based on this consciousness that we can gather people and say come bring your pain bring your burdens bring it there are people here sick there are people here saying apostle can my life change keep watching you're about to watch the biggest drama in your life how fast situations can change because of him man of god you need him businessman businesswoman you need him you don't need bottles of minerals you don't need a bigger container you need him and his wisdom are we together now i said it last week the key to walking with him is communion fellowship fellowship whatever you bring to the stage of life is the product of your secret place with him you're not going to stand here and fake relationship with him no sir no sir many people do it and disgrace themselves whatever you bring to the stage of life is an effulgence of your secret place so when i stand here when i'm preparing to go for koinonia i imagine him just waiting happily I know he's here but he's also with me and as i enter while i'm coming those who come usually a protocol person follows me and as soon as we take this turn and i see people they just see me smiling they don't know why i'm smiling when i come here and i sit down here i'm just watching people and watching the testimonies 
in my mind I look around and sometimes the Lord keeps showing me the visions of people's issues and then I am overjoyed you see me waiting I can't wait for worship team to finish singing do you know why because I want him to speak to you when he holds this mic through my hands and he speaks to you through my voice and commands situations and circumstances then you will watch them melt away ah. you are amazing you are amazing Hello. 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 you are amazing walk some of you as you are going you will see phone calls that should not enter listen every time you see anything unusual smile back to him and say my partner at work at work Shalabakotaya, my partner at work you go back to that ministry fire on the altar my partner at work you are lying down and sleeping and a dream comes with a powerful idea my partner working while i'm sleeping somebody calls you and says sorry i i used to walk against you but now i repent someone at the backside has been compelling him are we are we together do you believe all that i've shared or are you just excited i can't speak hausa the holy spirit does not speak english I can't speak Yoruba. I can't speak this. No. No. Apostle, I am so weak. I am, I am like a non-entity. No problem. You are the exact candidate for partnership with him. So that at the end of it, the excellency of power may be of God and not of you. Rise up on your feet. Let's stop here. I want you to lift your voice in one minute and cry passionately and say Holy Spirit more than ever before more than ever before I want to walk with you lift your voice and pray change our lives anoint us anoint me anoint me empower my destiny anoint me that's your prayer tonight anoint me fresh anointing fresh fire I want to walk with you I want to walk with you doing wonders with you changing lives with you transforming destinies with you Transforming destinies. Mm -hmm. 
King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God. I worship Lamb of God I worship you Lamb of God I worship you Lamb of God I worship you Lamb of God, I worship you. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory. And the lifter up of my head, regardless of what it has been in my life. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. Hello, give Madonna. Listen, there is a fresh impartation that is coming upon your life. An impartation is a transference of unction. It's a transference of possibilities. So that what was not in your life, all of a sudden, is activated in your life. What you have no business seeing in your life, steps into your life. And you begin to walk in those dimensions. Hallelujah. 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 Please lift your hands. We're going to be fast tonight tonight's session is an impartation please i want you to believe it i don't know how else to convince you there are things graces and dimensions that we need in our lives but we cannot access in ourselves but if we believe them if we believe them if we believe them we will see it hallelujah the first impartation God is releasing tonight and I want you to bring those people out there is a strange grace I see for speed and the Lord is saying I should stretch my hands it's a dimension of the spirit it's a year of triumph God is bringing speed right now I stretch my hands let it be now inside and outside speed 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 inside outside everywhere speed like fire is coming on your chest it's coming on people's chest i don't know why but it's coming on people's chest a strange mantle grace for speed 
an impartation of the anointing for speed. It's by the Spirit. It's by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing 27 people climbing ladders in the spirit. Let it be now. Let it be now. Now, the anointing of the spirit is locating those people. It's a new dimension. I'm seeing ascendance in the spirit. People rising. That's what I'm seeing. Rising. Climb that ladder. It's happening to you. There is an energy of the spirit that is taking men to this dimension. 27 people. Inside, outside, I'm seeing it happen by the Spirit. Men rising to new levels of possibilities. We may not have space to bring everybody out, but we'll just guide them somewhere. Rising, rising, rising from one dimension, one dimension, one dimension. Please, I want you to lift your hands up. Lift your hands up. My hands are shaking. And the Lord is telling me that he wants to do an impartation of the healing anointing. Now listen. The healing anointing. Right now, in the name of Jesus. It will come on your hands. It will come on your hands. It will come on your hands. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. The ministry of healing. Not just an emotional ministry. A real dimension. Laying hands on the sick. By the influence of the Holy Ghost. And watching dramatic miracles. 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 I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me yeah. Shadow of your wings, your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your wings. There are people here praying, Lord, prove to me that I'm called into the ministry. The Lord is saying, An anointing is coming on you now, as a proof, as I'm speaking. You may not even know. But that grace, that grace, that grace is a sign. It's a sign. It's a sign. It's a token. Right now, right now, it's coming on people. A sign. A token. A sign. A token. Many ladies, many ladies are experiencing this sign. A sign. A sign of his hand upon your life he's giving you a sign beyond any shadow of doubt i'm hearing in my spirit the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the lord is asking me to count four one two three four take it now let it be yours strength wisdom i'm seeing mantles falling mantles falling strength wisdom coming from heaven 
strange wisdom coming from heaven receive it right now supernatural wisdom supernatural wisdom supernatural wisdom hallelujah the lord is showing me somebody who used to have dreams and everything you see will come to pass but he stopped right now i'm seeing a grace for restoration coming upon you right now in the name of jesus it's not a general prophecy there are exact people that this is happening to a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration Malakato praska debeka shefratika sabraka dabaladaba Hallelujah There is a grace I feel like praying for students there is a grace for academic excellence listen it doesn't just happen believe me it's not just about what you learn there is a grace there is a, an exact grace for this lord i pray right now in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands to your people as many oh god as will please you let this baptism of this unction for extraordinary understanding let it come upon them right now at the count of three receive it now one two three Take it now. Please help them. Receive that grace right now. It's coming upon you. Extraordinary intelligence. Capacity to assimilate. Capacity to understand. Capacity to understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That fair lady that shared her testimony, lift your hands. I see an angel pouring something like fire on your head father in the name of jesus let us step into a level of extraordinary intelligence i don't know you but i release that grace upon you from today you a strange dimension of grace and intelligence in the name of jesus receive it right now by the power of the holy spirit receive it right now by the power of the holy spirit by the power of the holy spirit There is a grace for entrepreneurship, creativity, witty inventions. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing at least 43 people. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let it come on them, oh God. Believe it, let it come on them, oh God. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands now. 43. I'm seeing a number 43. Strange ideas coming on your spirit now. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Receive it right now. I want to pray for those in ministry there is always an unction for the next dimension i don't know where you are but you're going to begin to feel fire from your feet rising upwards that's the instruction god is giving me in the name of jesus lord i'm praying right now fresh fire fresh mantle let it begin to arise now you are in ministry in this place begin to receive it right now in the name of jesus receive it right now in the name of jesus Receive it right now. Those in ministry, help them. Shepar otoso koto baria, lekete koto so pres kala bariata. Jabra te so so pres chokotos. Strange fire. I see strange fire rising from the feet, right on top from the feet, rise on top from the feet. Please help them. In the name of Jesus, can you carry the child so that he doesn't? In the name of Jesus, strange fire revival fire supernatural unction 
supernatural unction supernatural unction supernatural unction hallelujah the Lord is ministering to me about a group of people here that he wants to bring into intimacy with him there is a dimension of intimacy it will surprise you you will start finding out that you are going alone to go and sit in a place the Holy Spirit wants to reintroduce himself to certain people Lord where are they where are they find them find them tonight find rest in them where are these men and women where are these men and women that you want to introduce yourself to shake it take it beyond church beyond church beyond church hallelujah ah i'm seeing people here who will be burning for days like fire literal physical fire that will not stop you will go with it you will wake up with it it will continue there is an energizing of the spirit that is happening to people an energizing of the spirit happening to people it's a fresh fire it's a fresh fire hallelujah for out of zion shall proceed the law it's time for us to mentor nations with our results are we together now yes that the greatest businessman in zaria is a tongue-talking anointed christian everybody that needs him will follow him to church without invitation and sit down whether they like it or not that's how to mentor nations when you see someone who has what you are looking for rolling before god whether you know why or not you will start rolling first before you understand why he's rolling we are too weak to make jesus powerful and this is what we want to correct tonight listen let me tell you this there is nothing you can do with a man or a people that become a force when you have results real results replicable results it is impossible for a territory to deny your presence here's what jesus said teaching in what we call the beatitudes the principles of the kingdom he says you are the light of the world you are the salt of the earth he says you are a city not like a city a city that is set on a hill how can a city be on a hill men whom the earth was not worthy of a city set on a hill giving light men will light that candle and put it on top of a bush for a very long time pastors have made the church weak because they don't know what else to do when they are not saved they are the weakest in every society they are the poorest they are the whatever it is under the spirit of servitude within a territory i reject that for koinonia in the name of jesus christ that you are able to disciple and mentor nations God is giving us influence and granting us grace and when that influence comes people will be able to listen to you you will say the same thing now that you said five years ago and people will cry hearing you not because more anointing was added to it more result is now backing what you are saying the same thing you said before are we together now everything they say about you is correct until your results prove otherwise everything if they say your god is weak they are right until your results prove otherwise hearing is my father glorified 15 and verse 8 john hearing brothers and sisters let us not be hypocrites for god's sake this is how god is glorified when ye bear much fruit when ye bear much fruit when ye bear much fruit 
my mother and my father when your children become the best and the most influential people within a city and are madly in love with god they will influence more people within a year than you will do holding a crusade in 10 years everybody is seeking for someone to reference his life after that's why we chase after musicians that's why we go online searching for people when people show certain things that we want even if we know they are lying we still follow them if someone decides to wear rags today if you see the money he has close to the rags tomorrow you too since you don't have the money you can start with the rags at least you can tear your cloth to look like it to give you hope that you will become like him we are making nonsense marketable because there is no result to back it I vow to myself and I vow before my God that I will never be a weak representative of the kingdom by every standard as far as the territories are located for my my spiritual impact is concerned we will have to do something for God that will make God beat his chest and say truly I have sons upon the earth that's why we are here that's why we are here and many times you will think that these things are just boastful statements no when a man speaks you need to look at the force back in him if it is your ability whether intellectual physical whatever then you are wasting your time but the power of the highest mary said how shall these things be seen that i know not a man and the angel said the power of the highest will overshadow you are we together now the mandate of jesus it's not more members the mandate of jesus is not a greater name for a ministry the mandate of jesus is not more people in a register the mandate of jesus is not more slaves loyal to a man called a man of god the mandate of jesus is that there will be people who understand the kingdom and love him and understand his system to be able to mentor and disciple nations your nation must look up to you otherwise you have failed if it's business if it's ministry if it's family whatever it is go and make disciples go and make disciples go and make disciples go and make disciples not go and have denominations go and make disciples That you should not give room for any unbeliever within your territory to hold a level of influence that will have to make you bend to God to receive their resources. No, sir. This is a message that the devil has fought for many years. And so many believers, especially we around the northern middle belt and part of the, we, we, we are not kingdom and we are not strategic in our understanding. We are morally sound, bless God. We love the Lord with all our heart, bless God. But we find out that our lives are empty, void of spiritual meaning because we do not know what else to do. So we seek God, we love him, we become anointed, we even fall under the anointing. But to what end was that anointing given? We don't know. So we roam around and hope that the mundane things that we spend our lives on will give us meaning. Nothing else has the ability to give your life meaning than knowing that you are living your life according to purpose and that it is giving joy to the Father. In a few minutes from now, we are going to be celebrating dimensions of the hand of God, the miracles of God. You know why? We are doing this because we know that first, we love the people. But second, it is a testament. That's why it matters when unbelievers hear what God is doing. When believers hear what God is doing, thank God for it. But the real impact is that what God is doing gets to the ears of the unbelievers because it will compel them are we together now you are gathered here tonight first because you love god he brought you but quite honestly because you are trusting god for various levels of supernatural solutions people have been here 
since monday tuesday wednesday families groups ministries people have traveled endured all kinds of things because someone told you or you heard it in a message that if you came here your life and your situation will change did you think they lied sit back and watch what god does with your life in a few minutes from now. So, that when you leave this place and go back as a man of god you will be surprised yourself the next time you see you will not come alone you will be too grateful to come alone when a mother comes here and sees what god does to her she will remember immediately that my stubborn neighbor's son that means they always wanted him change it's just that they had been looking for a place anointed enough to make them let me tell you i still say it again and again i thank god for posters i thank god for handbills please i'm in no way trying to demean them but nothing will cover the publicity that real power and real result creates people are too grateful rumors spread in overnight nobody paid for it and yet it goes round that's the same way the word of the lord can come upon you ah, i came for koinonia a program called the miracle service i just strolled there and my life changed overnight madam the next one is next month i don't have money you, you better look for money and you see people run around and come and receive and so our own assignment is to continue to stay with god to make sure that everybody that comes you take a level of fire that like queen of sheba you say half of this was not told me if we are not doing this this is just jamboree and a ceremony and a sin and wickedness because when people pay so much price and leave wherever they come from to come and sit down and then we entertain and make all kinds of noise and jargons and they go back again with the same pain we've wasted their time and we cause the heart of the father to bleed we make miracle walk promise keep light in the darkness my god that is who you are we make a miracle walker promise keep light in the darkness my god that is who you are we make a we make miracle walker you won't believe i've not even touched what i wanted to share as the message for tonight God, this year your life will change in the name of jesus christ this year your life will change by the power of the holy spirit it's true let those who laugh at you laugh Ephesians chapter 3 please let me have your attention I want to share with you a powerful revelation that God put in my heart for this meeting and then we will pray mighty God we bless you Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 the Bible says now unto him please look up the Lord has been pounding this scripture in my heart and I need to teach you and show you and make sure that you get it as a revelation now unto him that is able to do everybody say able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think everybody say ask or think one more time say ask or think that means there are two ways listen carefully your petitions and requests get to god number one is through your prayer by verbalizing it number two is through your thinking your paradigm also is a prayer request it sends prayers to heaven the bible says god will do what you ask or think not ask and think that means when you are not praying and you are thinking you are still praying before god your mouth and your mind are also prayer warriors the only thing is that for many of us our mouths are better prayer warriors than our minds most times our minds pray nonsense 
and that's why you find out that the things that you desire you may not see the results that are consistent with your desires because there are two prayer warriors in your life one is your mouth let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart both be acceptable that means the words of my mouth can be acceptable but the meditations of my heart can cancel everything he is able to do listen carefully exceeding abundantly far above all i ask far above all i think it matters it matters that the word of god does not just penetrate our spirits alone the word of god must have an effect listen carefully you will never be a world changer you will never be usable in the hand of god until the word of god is able to influence your understanding influence you we're talking about fruitfulness you will never be fruitful this year just because a prophetic word came as powerful as it is you can limit god your mouth may be praying because you are told to pray but your mind continues to make your destiny unfruitful listen very carefully most of the miracles that we need i submit to you most of the miracles that we need are in the realm of our understanding and the realm of the mind much more than physical miracles we need a real miracle of a reconstructed understanding to be able to know god's perspectives this is the secret of victory this is how we win in this kingdom that's why the preaching and the teaching of the word is very important because they are the spiritual systems allocated for bringing understanding when the word is preached and taught generally it brings you into a comprehension it influences your understanding and when your mind listen when your mind changes then truly your life will change it's true you are not truly free until your mind is free no matter what else around you is free if your mind is under captivity then you are really in bondage are we together let me show you something a revelation that god gave me for tonight luke chapter 4 we are reading five verses luke chapter 4 we'll start from verse 14 luke chapter 4 this is jesus now luke chapter 4 and verse 14 after his time of fast and prayer the bible says and jesus returned in the power of the spirit into galilee and there went out a fame of him through the region round about 15. and he taught in their synagogues you see jesus was a teacher he was a teacher he wanted to give people understanding 90 percent of his ministry was teaching 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 he built the disciples by teaching the impartations happen few times most of their encounters was the teaching ministry of jesus that's how they became apostles the bible says being glorified of all 16. let me have your attention now and he came to nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the sabbath day and stood up for to read he's about to read isaiah 61 now listen and there was delivered to him the book of the prophet Isaiah. and when he had opened the book he found the place where it was written the spirit of the lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised just keep 18. see how many times the various issues required preaching there were three main issues in the ministry of Jesus that the solution was hidden in preaching not doing preaching number one very quickly that every time you met a poor man the solution lied in doing something to his mind the Bible says he had anointed me to preach not just to give to the poor he had anointed me to do something to their minds because the issue whether it is some version say meek it doesn't matter no matter how you see it it still requires preaching 
so when you see someone in a financial predicament god's recommendation is that that person is not yet free until the word of god is able to do something to his mind otherwise that person will remain in bondage how true bless someone who is poor in his mind a thousand times his mind would turn his life back to look like his mind when it has to do with the poor the secret to really helping them is to camp them under the wisdom of god's word and the bible says to preach the gospel to the poor the next sets of people that require preaching amazing amazing this is where the apostolic and prophetic ministry in many regards has failed woefully the next set of those who require preaching are those who are captive in need of deliverance it didn't say to conduct deliverance it said to preach deliverance that means much more than driving the spirit entity in their lives and around their situations jesus is saying they are not truly free until deliverance is preached to them listen to my teaching the mystery of deliverance i call this deliverance through transformation that your mind is reoriented again to have spiritual understanding that keeps the door closed one of the things and and i thank god that this is a ministry that believes in the whole counsel of god shortly we are going to be praying casting out devils and just taking away these influences that stand the way of people but then the bible says that the journey to deliverance will continue being a cycle a helpless cycle to the point that it becomes a mockery until the preaching dimension not the laying hands dimension not the prophecy dimension the preaching dimension there is something that must be captured in your deliverance message that affects the minds not just the spirits and the bodies of men otherwise these spirits will make a mockery of you they will leave the people and return back because their mindsets have become strongholds the spirits have created fortifications around their thinking that will allow the spirit come back again are we together to preach deliverance not just to conduct deliverance i admit to you that it is here that the apostolic and the prophetic ministry in many regards has failed because of the charismatism that is around ministering to people seeing someone fall roll under the anointing you know when that happens it looks like it's an accolade on you as the man of god and so we enjoy it no matter how many times you must go through that rigor i'm satisfied provided it helps in making me shine but the bible is saying by and large the delivery will be tired <laughs> permit my english that person is not going to except if it's a fresh impartation and the person must know the new grace that is different from last week's falling there's a lot of mess in the body of christ demons continue to make mockery of our ignorance many people are permanent gateways for the entry and the exit of spirits it was jesus himself that carried out the demonology lecture he didn't give anybody he handled that course by himself and this is what he taught us remember when jesus talks you listen he says when a spirit leaves a man that means spirits can leave men we know that apostles and prophets we god has helped us in that area we know how to make spirits leave men but the Bible says that spirit will go through dry regions seeking for a place of refuge. Are we together now? And then the Bible says not finding a place of refuge. Here's what the spirit will say. Remember the person had been delivered now and he's jumping in the church and he's happy. Hallelujah. Doors are opening and the spirit is saying I'm coming back. The spirit is saying I will go back like the prodigal son. The prodigal son said, I will arise and go back to my father. The spirit says, I will arise and go back to my house. He's calling the person who had been delivered my house. That means he's still, he's still laying claims. He comes back according to Jesus and finds the house swept, clean, but empty. Everybody say empty. Say it, empty. There is a law in the spirit that anywhere there is void, anything can fill it. When there was darkness and void, the Holy Spirit came to hover around it. Swept, 
clean through deliverance by casting out the devil but then empty because the word contents that will fill that person and close the door permanently is not there he has not received the preaching dimension of deliverance to let you know that now that this spirit has left you are we together now to begin to educate you into understanding what christ has done for you and then to help you to be able to stand your ground like paul would teach in the book of ephesians supplying you all the spiritual arsenals that can keep you safe now that you are free it's not there so the spirit will route through anything anger jealousy and gladly stroll back into the person unfortunately jesus said no spirit returns alone it will gather seven others more dangerous than itself and return to the person so that the end of that person is worse than the beginning if you're with me say amen this is why there are many temporal miracles you hear people say i received a miracle a spirit left me and then i started this and then the situation gets compounded and it becomes worse again because the person does not or he has not been educated to see the relevance you see let me tell you this come the moment you cast a spirit out of a person or out or around a situation spirits are not only in people spirits are also in situations situations are bodies that spirits can possess are we together now yes so that situation or that body the spirit leaves but the individual listen carefully the individual is here standing and his mindset has not been changed has not been altered the mindset becomes a gateway that spirit enters back and continues to influence the person and when these spirits study the man of god and they know that the man of god may be well-meaning he may be very anointed but his word content is very low they no longer will be afraid even before you cast them they'll just go out and you will think it's a sign that you are getting more anointed it's a sign that they have mastered your ignorance and created a way of insulting you they will freely go and wait immediately after the grace they enter the person and continue to go so you see the labor it looks like this warfare is endless you will continue to cast out demons and demons and demons and demons forever whereas there can be victory established are you with me now That's why you can have a particular dream or series of dreams or all kinds of attacks and then you can have a strong season where there is an emphasis on the ministry or deliverance ministry or something like that and then the demons leave and afterwards the patience and the interest to allow deliverance be taught you is not there and these spirits will return they are stubborn spirits so said jesus they don't leave and go away even satan left jesus for a while and came back came back through peter came back through judas until he thought he got jesus are we together the body of christ does not have the patience to allow the word of god let me tell you this if you are not teaching people you have to teach people the value of sitting to receive and to grow in the word the bible says let the word of christ dwell in you in all richness you are a man of god here please listen it is not so much about manifestation and rolling under the anointing and, and all of those kinds of things train your people to sit down and listen to the word of god and then train yourself to make sure you understand what you are teaching so that the people are not listening to what becomes poisonous to them if you're with me say amen when believers were saved in the early church they were not just left to go a few people were left without real spiritual follow-up and you saw what happened to them for instance in acts chapter 19 the bible says paul having passed through the upper coast he came and he found certain disciples supposedly and then he asked them a question he said have you received the holy ghost since he believed and they said we've not even heard whether there be any holy ghost and then he said unto what baptism then were you baptized and they said unto the baptism of john and jesus corrected them 
and said no the baptism of john was a baptism of repentance so that you will believe on who that will come and then they were baptized in the name of the lord jesus and paul laying his hands upon them the bible says they were filled with the holy spirit and began to pray in tongues and they prophesied they were 12 in number all of them that was a new level for them when you just back down a little you read from chapter 18 the last six verses the bible talks about a man called apollos a great man he was an eloquent man fervent in spirit mighty in scripture the bible says but he knew only the baptism of john and then one day he came for a meeting and then aquila and priscilla met him and then they expounded to him the way of the kingdom more perfectly and then he become more useful to the body because he now began to argue based on the new lights that he had you must pray and cast away ignorance the worst oppression is not demonic oppression that the spirit influences you is that when the spirit saps your desire for the word so that you do not have time and especially for women of god it's possible to be reading the bible just because of the pressure i've been ministering right from saturday back to back every day up until yesterday dash in here to come tomorrow i'm back again to finish the conference you can imagine over 18 sermons within one week so it's easy i can be up and doing just studying the bible as though i have an interest but it may be that it's just for the formality of finding a sermon and these spirits watch out for these kinds of things are we together you prevail as a believer when your understanding is altered by the word of god it gives you an appreciation for excellence it gives you an appreciation for diligence it gives you an appreciation for knowledge it gives you an appreciation for value you see the all surpassing excellency of god's power it will make you need the holy spirit in your life it will damage ignorance from your life and strengthen you to be effective and remember the more your spiritual capacity is the more god can flow through you and from you to others this is how to disciple nations are we together this night so give us luke chapter 4 again let me finish up and then we'll pray mighty god so the poor need the gospel preached those in need of deliverance much more than the casting of the devil they need to understand the message that the bible calls preaching deliverance and then number three look up please to preach again the acceptable year of the lord king james says the acceptable year of the lord i think it's a new living translation that says to preach the year of the lord's favor the word acceptable year there doesn't just mean the day god has agreed uh -uh. it was a direct translation but it is the lord's favor to preach the lord's favor so those in need of favor is more than just laying on of hands it's more than just prophecy receive favor there is an a spiritual education a spiritual curriculum you must pass through to really walk in favor is one of the biggest mistakes again we make in church because we teach people that favor is unmerited that favor just happens when god wants to favor you but it's not true it's not true my brothers let me tell you this it is not true favor is merited there is a dimension of favor that operates as though unmerited but when you truly know what favor is and how it works you know that it is merited merited there does not mean everything even your obedience is done by the grace of god supplied you don't have the power to walk in it favor is not unmerited don't insult any man of god and don't look down any man of god you hear teaching and saying is unmerited that's not what i'm teaching you you may buy into his understanding and find out that we are saying the same thing but then i can tell you this if you are under this leadership and you want results in your life understand that favor is merited i've taught you this that favor is a child that a pregnant woman gives birth to right proverbs 13 and verse 15 good understanding give it or bring it forth favor 
and he says the way of the transgressor is hard good understanding is like a woman proverbs chapter 13 and verse 15 good understanding is like a pregnant woman she can give birth to a child and the bible names that child favor transgression is also like another pregnant woman that can give birth to a child and the name of the child is hardship hardship is predictable there is there is an exact gestation period and you give birth to something that you name unfortunately it's life that names it hardship that's the name of your child favor that's the name of your child So when you tell people favor is unmerited, they just sit down and say, okay, so what do I do? And then they just sit down and say, okay, God, just favor me. And nothing will happen. Most people have not tasted what the Bible calls favor. I've said it again and again that most of what we call favor is breakthrough. Favor is only favor if it is repeated. If it happens just once in a while or once in a long while, that's breakthrough. That's not favor. It's true. Are we together? So when you need favor, Jesus is teaching us in the temple that you must be taught that there is something called the acceptable year of the Lord. Ah, I know there's more that's found in you. Be careful. Be careful what becomes the foundation of your spiritual knowledge and don't be ashamed to open yourself for change many times we are loyal to our current level that even in the face of truth we would rather be loyal to where we are than sustain the flexibility to move to where we need to be i have absolute disloyalty for error i'm not ashamed when i find out that there is a need for adjustment and correction just because you held on to a, a truth or a light all your life the moment you find the truth you see your loyalty you feel like you are betraying your convictions and we will never settle for less i know there's more that's found in you and i will never yell will never settle for less the same way many of us may have innocently learned that automatically demons just leave themselves out of you it may be an honest knowledge you have sustained for a long time you see that by very well-meaning men and women of God from a very sincere heart that's why knowing God is powerful you need flexibility to know God because you will know things about him that will, it will be like deliverance from a cult now how do I come out of this knowing that all my life this is what I believed in I shared with you a story years ago about a gentleman fine smart man of God who for a long time held the view that look it was impossible demons cannot influence people etc etc and he held on to that and he was a very sincere person lovely fine nice gentleman and I remember when he came to see me in my room then as soon as I saw him I saw a spirit standing behind him that came with him and then I was I was trying to look for the most loving way to just tell him my brother you may need prayer no 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 I don't need anything I'm okay I'm all right I'm fine I'm this I said I understand I'm not about to argue with you but please this is what I'm no 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 this person came for counseling something is obviously wrong with his life and now I'm seeing that this is what is wrong and the gentleman will just not agree and then I pleaded with him to give me a chance to pray for him and this guy would get up like 15 minutes later shouting and manifesting and talking on under all kinds of things and then when I was done he got up I didn't look down on him I politely appreciated him for more than three days this gentleman could not be himself he went back according to him and carried his Bible he kept sending me text messages apostle so what is the meaning of this now I believe this I believe that
do you cry when you buy a better phone do you feel bad when you be buy a better phone don't be ashamed when you are open to truth that is new but truth it is just because it's not something that has been captured in your experience that's why you must have meekness and flexibility the goal is not to create argument and no 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 if i find out that what i believe now is wrong i will be glad to repent and find out what the truth is and in all honesty come and tell you i apologize i've seen better now i will not be ashamed to say it but my brothers and my sisters let me tell you god has granted us the grace to prove some things and these things we teach are not suggestions are we together favor will not come upon you just because you want it no the gospel must be preached you must sit down and you must be taught the systems that activate favor and then when the teaching comes there is an empowerment is usually light and grace light grace light grace full of grace and truth 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 that's how it works when the truth comes upon you then the level of grace to demonstrate that dimension you have had is given to you is someone learning tonight i'm saying this because most of us are in these three categories tonight trusting god you came for a miracle service because you are tired of all the things that have happened around your life and are happening some of us have come because we are trusting lord can you look down on me with favor and i'm showing you jesus himself teaching at the temple that's why they marveled at him 20 let's look at verse 20 20 of luke chapter 4 we're praying shortly luke i'm 20 now i'm 20 let's look at verse 20 and he closed the book and gave it again to the minister so there was a man of god there before him and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him 21 let me add 21 and he began to say unto them these days this scripture fulfilled in your ears when you read down the bible says they marveled at him saying what what doctrine is this is this not joseph's son where did he learn this one from now you must know something new to rise to a new level what you know has brought you where you are and if you stay there you will continue to recycle your results you must contend for light and glory and truth that's why i sang that song and i will never settle for less i know there's more that's found in i told you for many years demons used to oppress me remember my story as a man of god i went to many people sincerely let me tell you this by god's grace i tell you this i'm a student of knowledge there are few people that study and read like me i say it with all humility and so i read lots of books that propose so many things and i walked in those things yet these spirits would not leave me as a man of god they would oppress me i would go to bed and they would oppress me sometimes even in the midst of fasting like is happening to many of you I will round up the fast as I'm rounding up the fast the same experience will happen again I said what I mean what is this is it, will it be honest that I don't have faith eventually I found out what was wrong and God helped me in that area that's why I continue to trust God to help people in these areas may God may God grant you the grace to prove what you know Amen. not just to say what you know this is a prayer you will appreciate in the nearest future may God grant you the grace to prove what you know Amen. because the end of all argument truly is results consistent results are proof that mastery has been gained are we together and tonight the Lord wants to visit us like Benga shared is a buffet a buffet of fat things he has set the table before us 
for yours it may not be that there's an infirmity you are trusting god for but there is a level of favor listen god has declared by his spirit that this is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness genesis 17 and verse 6 and i will make you exceeding fruitful he says and nations shall come out of you and kings out of your loins one of the keys i taught you that sponsor extraordinary fruitfulness is the favor of god this one everybody must cry it and you must receive it if every miracle service is dedicated to releasing favor it will be worth it because let me tell you my brothers and my sisters happy is a man whose jealousy the, the when the jealousy of god zooms on you you become a fearful wonder even to yourself it's true it's true you stand back and watch in shock and wonder and say god what are you doing it's not unmerited it is empowered but not unmerited there is an active contribution through knowledge and faith that brings it and tonight i believe that in the name of jesus christ within the few minutes we have a very quick work to do tonight there are many of us seated here the truth is that there are spirits around your life and behind the situations of your life and it does not matter trust god that they will leave you there are others your miracle service began while i was teaching because now you are gaining understanding so this is why these things continue to be repeated in my life but there are others the mountain that stands before you is a mountain of complete disfavor if in three days no one helps you something is wrong the favor of god is not on you 72 hours is too much for heaven to not respond to you forgive me if this sounds arrogant you will know it's true I will not leave you comfortless i will come to you i will come to you i will come to you you get up in the morning lord thank you and there's all kinds of favor daily loading you with benefits and i'm not just talking finance finance is not the only expression of favor it's a needed one but not the only expression of favor when god lifts men to make your life easy you are trusting god for a new dimension in the spirit someone goes out of his way and gets a book by an author you do not know and comes to give you and that book is teaching on the anointing in a way you have never seen that's favor it doesn't always have to be money when we say favor people think money you are trusting god for a realm of the prophetic and then god grants you access to a man of god you never would have had access to and one impartation brings you into that realm it is favor the absence of hardship is the proof of favor Let me sing this song again before we pray. Don't join me. Listen. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found in you. Favor found in Him. New levels of grace found in Him. That you step into a meeting as a man of God and you know the principalities and powers yokes thrones dominions are about to be subdued it's not a suggestion you are not guessing you are standing from a pinnacle of light and no power in existence will sustain the ability to negate god's word upon your life a dear man of god i met you know while i was ministering great wonderful man just yesterday i met with him and he said apostle after a meeting and he said sir i've been trying to get a name for my company for weeks and for months i'm a man of god and i've been praying and i laughed because when something is within your power you see that within your power given to you by grace 
the same way a little child comes to say please give me pure water and you can bring out five naira because it's within your power there are some things after tonight it will be within your power it's soon. within your power to speak and change things within your power and I told him I said let's pray I said this night you will have the answer and by evening he calls me and says apostle i almost cannot believe this even as a man of god that i was sitting down and this is the name this is that and i told him congratulations and he said what is this and i told him that this is called the power of god the power of god is a force it produces changes the same way you are sitting quietly now your life is at the mercy of an anointing and within few minutes my brothers and my sisters I, I i never i never cease to marvel at what the anointing can do just like that just like in a twinkling of an eye and someone's burden has lifted for decades like that in in a moment and you're waiting for days in zaria will be worth it completely just like that Please believe this. If you're a worker in this ministry, believe it. Don't get used to these things and allow people who come from somewhere to continue to receive. And you sit down and say, Wow, I know. No, let's not cheat ourselves. Let's be sincere. God is able to do. Let me tell you, it is within His power to surprise you tonight. Not just to give you miracles, to surprise you. It is within His power to begin to alter systems and structures. This night, not tomorrow, this night. This night. The Bible says every man should minister according to the measure of the grace of God given to you. When you measure outside of the jurisdiction of the grace supplied, it's called pride. Elijah said, let him come, Naaman, Elisha, so that he will know, not that there is a God in Israel, that there is a prophet in Israel. You would call that pride, but the result showed it. The same way you are a man of God now. And in a few minutes, if you are a man of God and you came here, I want you to just get ready. Because what will come on your life, it will lift you to a pedestal in the spirit that will surprise you. You will walk in strange levels of glory. This is by the spirit. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? We're about to pray. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Results are not acts of pride and arrogance. They are acts of the grace and the mercy of God. Activated through knowledge. So God takes you to a new dimension. We are going to do a very, we will trust God for a very quick walk. I took out time to teach tonight because this is the real miracle. The performance, all of that, is it, just a touch and all of that and one prophetic word. But what you are hearing now, is it? This alteration that is happening, not just to your spirit, but to your mind. Find out how many impartation services Jesus conducted, you will be surprised. There were few times, one of which he breathed upon them, received the Holy Ghost. But most times he camped with them. For 40 days, all he was doing was to teach, teach, teach. But do you not know that in the light that comes from his hand is the hiding place of his power. The power of God flows through his word. So when the word of God is coming now, you are immersed in his glory. You see that? And the spirit entered me. Not just when he laid hands on me, when he spake unto me. I've taught you how the word of God works. That the word of God is like a tray. It's carrying something. You don't receive it just for the word's sake. You receive it for what is on it. If, if I'm hungry and you serve me jollof rice, you bring it on a tray. Is that true? The first thing I receive is the tray. I receive the tray with joy, not because I need the tray. I need the rice. The word of God is a conveyor of the possibilities of God. So when the word of God comes to you, you are happy because of what is in it and on it. He sent forth his word. He sent forth his word. His word of deliverance. His word of, of healing. His word of lifting. Have you heard this proverb that in one day a nation can be born? He says, but as soon as Zion travails, 
she shall put forth a son that means it's possible tonight that before the meeting is over your phone can beep and you will see something that will keep you on your knees and say lord you just answered my prayer of five years in one day how shall these things be that's the voice of unbelief we're talking god here we're not talking a man god no wonder they said lord i believe but if what i call faith is nonsense help thou my own belief i need help and jesus helped him men of god let's trust god for this miracle service to bring us into new realms of glory let's trust god let's trust god the path of the just is as a shining light it shines ever brighter spiritually financially in grace in influence the part of the just shines shines don't allow people threaten you with their ignorance when people are ignorant they rob their ignorance on you and make you guilty for opening yourself up to all the dimensions of god as though you are sinning so if you open up yourself to be blessed financially they they give a body language that suggests that you too you are joining them in this thing receive the whole counsel of god it is beneficial for all of god to be seen in your life you embrace the power of god and hate his resources the pain that is on your child will tell on you and it will destroy your life i receive the whole counsel of god i receive the whole counsel if there is wealth i receive it if there is wisdom i receive it if there is grace i receive it everything that is on this table Sometimes you can be served a buffet and sometimes they can even help you to serve it and you say little of everything. Little of what? Everything. And we will never see. Now you join me. We know there's more that's found me. And sing it from the depth of your heart. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. Just one prayer point tonight. Lord, my heart and my mind and my body is open to receive everything everything go ahead and pray everything oh god you're trusting god for a healing miracle now is the time to release your faith you're trusting god for deliverance from all kinds of oppression now is the time to believe you're trusting god for a new level in the spirit a new level in the spirit a new level in the spirit believe it for it you're trusting god for a change of results god thank you i have evidences in my life but i need a higher level of results Lord, thank you for the prayer dimension, but I need a heavier grace, the spirit of prayer and supplication. Amplify the gift of God in me. Amplify the grace of God in me. Amplify the supply of the spirit upon my life. I need to disciple nations. I need to become an influence over a system, over a structure for the sake of your glory. Pray, pray. Pray. Lord, I need a visitation upon my family. How forcible are right words? How forcible are right words? There is a compelling power that right words bring.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, we're going to do it this way. We have to hurry up. We're just going to do four things this night. Number one, there will be a session of prophetic deliverance. I'll tell you what that means. I'll pray for people. I'll minister. But there are times that I'll just speak the word, the case, and then God will deal with that. Number two, I, I, if we have the time, the Lord may speak to one or two people. And then number three, we'll take time and minister the healing power of God to the sick. It's very important. And then number four, we'll have the time to pray on our requests. And then I prophesy and speak over everyone. And that will be it for the night. The, the, that time will come with impartations and all of that. I say this to you, especially for those of you who are coming for the first time, so that your heart can be open. It's going to be a flow all through. And I want you to participate with your heart. Let your heart be open. By the way, you can stand in for your loved ones. And then those connecting online from whatever nation of the world, there's no distance truly in the spirit. You can receive, you can believe, and then God can make this true in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There is a grace that I found myself releasing upon the body of Christ in this season. And that's what we're going to start with. The Lord, I don't know, God has been doing something in my life since January this year started. Is the grace for speed. This is what I want to release upon our lives all through my meetings in lagos for every meeting the lord has instructed me to release that grace listen no matter how many times you've heard me pray it i like for your heart to be open there is real speed that can come upon the saints in this season that you will run just just run like elijah are we together now i want to i, I want to talk to you especially for those outside the ushers will only do their best but they are limited usually when i pray this prayer and i release this grace you will find people running physically by the spirit of god there's nothing strange about it this is an operation of the spirit and i want to pray that grace right now from the depth of my heart you see that most of what we need in our lives is speed you will not complain about delay again when you have speed because it will not make any difference god has a system of forcing you to catch up and i want to pray those who are coming here for the first time let this be the first miracle that you receive in the mighty name of jesus now i stretch my hands at the count of three i declare the grace for speed i'm seeing fire coming on the feet of people at the count of three i release that anointing in all the overflows right now one my god two three receive that grace right now Receive that anointing everywhere, inside and outside. I release that grace, that grace for speed. Life comes to you and you begin to run to overtake the chariots of Ahab. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release speed, speed, inside, outside. I release speed. People are receiving that grace. Strange speed, speed in ministry speed in your career receive it god is releasing it upon you no more delays no more delays by the spirit of the living god no more delays online offline localized here i stretch my hands and i prophesy that grace right now people will begin to run by the spirit i'm seeing it in the spirit and energizing of the spirit is coming on men and women speed speed i prophesy speed 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 outside overflow one overflow two overflow three by the roadside speed for you and for your family members by this grace i crush delay i crush delay i crush delay I cross delay, I cross stagnation, remaining in one position. I judge the spirit and the force behind it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is telling me he's still releasing that grace. But now over families, not just individuals, you as a person may be moving forward but your family is under a strong yoke of stagnation i stretch my hands right now at the count of three may god use you as a point of contact to supply speed
to your family members are you ready one two three receive that grace families families speed speed to the north speed to the south speed to the east speed to the west in the name of jesus speed to the middle belt i release you i release you i release you speed in the name of jesus i cause every power i cause every force by this grace and by this unction i release speed The Lord is showing me a purple robe. I'm seeing a purple robe in the spirit and I'm seeing it come on people. Not everybody, but there are specific people. And I believe purple in, in, in scripture is symbolic of royalty. It is a system of enthronement that is coming on certain people. Lord, I don't know where these people are. They came from miracle service, but I stretch my hands. May the anointing locate such people now and shift you into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace. Receive that grace. Men robed in royalty, beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Beauty for ashes. for ashes beauty for ashes pay attention to what God is doing beauty for ashes hallelujah I'm seeing in a vision of the Lord and I'm seeing people the right legs being tied with something that looks like looks like a like a bag but tied and i'm seeing on it reproach that's what the lord is seeing reproach and the lord wants to take away that luggage of reproach it may not be for everybody but in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god that everything that represents a reproach in your life tonight here and now i release by the supply of the spirit the grace and i cause that reproach now I cause that reproach now. I cause that reproach now. I cause that reproach now. My God, I cause that reproach now. In the name of Jesus, man of God, I cause that reproach now. In the name of Jesus Christ, businessman, I cause that reproach now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a grace for biological fruitfulness like physical I'm not not just maybe financial and all of that real to, to dislodge barrenness whether it is for you or it's for someone connected to you it's time to receive it now I'm seeing the Lord is leading me to stand here just this room and I'm seeing an anointing locating people right here and taking away that yoke of barrenness. I stretch my hand. Whether it is for you or your family members, I'm just doing what the Lord is asking me to do. In the name of Jesus, may that anointing come upon you now. May that grace come upon you now. That if there is anyone within this role, among those standing, that is suffering any kind of barrenness, I come against it right now. I declare become a joyful mother of children, a joyful father, a joyful mother, a joyful father, a joyful mother, a joyful father, in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me 
to do something serious here now this is an apostolic ministry and we're word based so whatever it is you do not understand you rest in the fact that we work consistent with the lord um what what god i hope that you don't find it offensive god is asking me to remove some money and just hold it and speak and release a grace for financial rest over people this is an instruction that's why i'm taking out time to explain so you don't misunderstand me you will be surprised to see what happens i will not ordinarily do that no we we represent we are people of integrity and this is not some superstitious manipulative thing but we are in a season of fruitfulness and god is giving me an instruction so i'm just going to do exactly what god is asking me to do just to be able to hold something and release that grace and that you have the grace to receive you surprised to see what happens father i've obeyed you in childlike foolishness i stretch my hands right now let this mantle and this unction lord let it rest on your people at the count of four that in a way you will shift them to such dimensions of supernatural supplies get ready now one two three four receive that fire right now step into that level of strange abundance in the name of jesus christ i place a grace upon your life you may look weak but in the name of jesus let there be supplies from heaven let there be supplies from heaven let there be supplies from heaven in the mighty name of jesus in the name of jesus i provoke over your life the grace for strange financial supplies don't say you don't need it 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 in the name of jesus let it give you rest to serve the lord let it give you the fortitude to stop begging in the name of jesus and it will allow you to concentrate on the matters of the kingdom and of destiny i release that grace upon you in the name of jesus christ There are people entering realms right now in the spirit entering financial dimensions it is first spiritual before physical listen to me it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness let your faith come alive there are people entering dimensions and levels of grace and supplies and possibilities it's in you Don't come dropping seeds out of ignorance or pressure please please i'm praying from my heart if you don't know what you are doing please don't feel guilty and don't feel under any kind of pressure whatsoever are we together let me tell you this my brothers and my sisters when god begins to speak over your life in an area is because he has seen what is going to befall men and like an ark he's creating an ark of gopher wood that represents safety many people in this year will languish financially i'm telling you this listen there will be a lot of cries that's why god is releasing this grace there will be more people backsliding as a result of lack of resources than just a demonic attack please again i plead with you i plead with you in the name of jesus do not be under any pressure listen they did not keep a basket here for you to come and keep money I'm, I'm saying this from the depth of my heart and sincerely so i'm saying this from the depth of my heart and sincerely so we are committed to helping you experience god we're not playing games with anyone's destiny but i'm saying it again that there are people entering strange realms this is more than a miracle alert this is not miracle alert this is a realm it's a it's a dimension in the spirit and in the name of jesus i stand by this anointing again and i shift you step in step in step in step in step into this realm of supplies step into this realm of grace for your family for your family for your destiny step into this realm of grace 
outside the Lord is showing me a woman outside the power of God is coming upon that woman right now outside I'm seeing that this is a woman of many sorrows her name is not given to me but I'm seeing that this is a woman outside with all kinds of first financial issues and then family issues and anointing a very strong anointing will come upon that woman and the Lord is telling me that he is bringing upon people the spirit of revelation is is a dimension of grace I want to pray that prayer right now father in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know who they are I don't know where they are but I stretch my hands I'm seeing fire like rings of fire just coming upon the eyes of people I release that grace right now help them please I release that grace right now Blessed are you, O oh Lord, our God, when it is holy. Blessed are you, O oh Lord, our God, when it is holy. Something is coming on you. But I can't, I don't Come, oh come, heaven's gates open up With understanding you order the sea Creating day and night Turning darkness into light Arranging the stars to your people But I can't deny my body I'm seeing like a letter and I'm seeing congratulations on it and the Lord is telling me it's a grace for jobs it's a grace for jobs please believe now it's a grace there are people who have been praying it and the Lord is asking me to count five just the, the number five and a grace will come for some you are already walking but God will lift you like the stars rising one two three four five receive that grace right now in the name of jesus i release that grace supernatural testimonies supernatural testimonies of jobs in the name of jesus supernatural testimonies for you and for your loved ones i don't care where the job must come from but i decree and i prophesy these jobs come to you speedily in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Please. My hands are shaking. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. I'm stretching my hands. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. There are people that need to step into the healing ministry. The healing anointing. Right now, I release that grace. The healing anointing. You can't be a man of God without the healing grace. The healing anointing. Receive it from ministry. Receive it from ministry. The healing anointing. Outside overflow one. I'm seeing the angels of the Lord. There are impartations of the healing grace. The healing grace. The healing grace. The healing grace. healing 
anointing. Receive it. You need it. In the name of Jesus. So you can take the healing power of Jesus to the nation. Parakatosekete. Enketa lakotoska parakatosheteke sabata. Rakatatatatata parakatoska parakatasia. Sheketeketeketeke. Sheketes. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are carrying that grace bodily. You are carrying that grace, evidential grace for you. Hallelujah. Now I'm ready to minister deliverance. For those people you bring them out now i want to pray i want to pray i want to pray lift your hands we are going to pray we are going to read these spirits there are forces that stand the destinies of people listen please especially if this is your first time coming ah i'm seeing fire fire from ground up fire from ground that's from your feet rising up i'm going to count three listen for those people please i want them out here there is a strong fire of deliverance that is going to come upon you and clear the way for you to experience open doors and victory are you ready now please i want you to believe it at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus it's not a ritual and let me have all the people here ushers thank you father every devil of darkness that followed anyone here any family any situation here in the name of jesus it's time for them to come out of their hiding place i decree and i prophesy that at the count of three as you shout jesus may the fire of god bring a separation between you and those influences one get ready two three shout jesus come out of them now i cast every devil in the name of jesus and they shall cast out devils i command the spirit influences behind situations behind circumstances i command in the name of jesus that they come out of their hiding place in the name of jesus bring them out spirits of ancestry territorial ordinances that keep men in the same position that refuse to let them rise i come against you in the name of jesus bring them out in the name of jesus i'm seeing a sword and i know that sword is the word of god i cross by that sword let there be a separation that every force tying anyone's destiny you're going to shout jesus again at the count of three be ye lifted all ye ancient gods one two three let them go in the name of Jesus release their destinies you have the covenant keeping God Hallelujah. These hands that I see tied in the realm of the spirit, many of you will feel physical fire on your hands. There will be a strange deliverance. That's why anything you do does not work. No matter if it's a business, it will fail. If it's a relationship, it will fail. Anything you lay your hands, there is a spirit that steals your joy. But right now, I challenge and I attack that spirit. Let the fire of God, right now at the count of three, 
separate you from that influence. One, two, three, let them go now, 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 in the name of Jesus. A mighty wind, spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Yeah. The yoke of bad luck, the yoke of bad luck, the yoke of bad luck. I break it now. The yoke of bad luck. Receive, I'm breaking someone free from this yoke of bad luck. Makato se sekete lekete yakata. Shabranda kato sana kato skele bakaratos. Eketo skete kete kete kete. Karusa siyama kando sana makata. I break you free from the yoke of bad luck. In the name of Jesus. Bad luck. It works well for others until you come. And then something strange just happens. All those under the anointing here. I arrest this spirit. And at the count of three. Every devil you will patch your load. And every trouble you have brought to this destiny. And go. I speak as one sent by the anointing. At the count of three. Leave one. Two. Three. Go. 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 Out of their lives, out of their destinies, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're so glad to pray for the sick. Nada o kaka sunanka o bangi chika isaya na kwa sunanka o bangi chika isaya nada o kaka sunanka o bangi chika isaya na kwa sunanka o bangi chika who is Janet? Janet, Janet, I hear a name, Janet, Janet, there's, there's no time we have, Janet, please don't enjoy anybody, are you Janet, stand up, I had the name Janet, please don't tell lies, don't embarrass yourself, if you are not Janet, go back, Janet, Where are you from? In the name of Jesus, look at me. I will pray for everybody, but I will pray for you. Huh? Look at me, look at me. Don't close your eyes. Your family is under serious attack. Huh? Where are they? Where are your family members? They're in Zaria. Zaria, yes. Go and tell them that the Lord is bringing deliverance for your entire Amen. family. Amen. Huh? Not only... Go and tell your family members that the Lord is taking away the reproach Amen. from your family Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I may not be able to talk to everyone, but I'm still seeing that thing I saw in the vision. That thing tied on the legs, written reproach, reproach, reproach. And the Lord is taking it away right now in the name of Jesus, taking away reproach. This lady, tap that lady holding her hands for me. This, lift your hands lift your hands just do what I'm asking you to do in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I'm seeing like oil come upon you and God is saying he's shifting you to a new level of favor 
in the name of Jesus, I decree and I prophesy by the Spirit over you. 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 All of you standing here, for time's sake, I'm going to pray for you. One of you, um, the power of God is going to come on one of you. The moment that happens, I'll pray for everybody. I'm seeing one person, one of you. The Lord is telling me that the anointing is coming on that person. Not only is God bringing personal spiritual revival to you, God is opening doors of opportunity. Lord, where is that one person? I decree and declare. When that one person is identified, and then I just pray for all of you in general. I'm seeing someone in around the media, where media people are. And the Lord is saying you are stepping into your season of laughter. And just around that vicinity of the media, I stretch my hands. May the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, like a mighty rushing wind, rest upon the individuals within that vicinity. In the name of Jesus, that person must enter into the, the reality of this prophecy. I'm back to you people in front. In Jesus' name, I decree and declare, whoever that one person is, may that anointing and that grace come upon you you will never 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 be the same the power of god will come upon that one person the moment that happens then i'll pray for everybody it's just the instruction god is giving me in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands towards all of you by faith and in the spirit i declare for whatever reason it is that god brought you out here i declare i place the word of god upon your situation and in the name of Jesus, I declare that you return with testimonies. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. This lady wearing dark, come. God bless you. You can go back to your seat, all of you. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Where are you coming from? Asaba. From Asaba. Yes, the Lord is saying, I should tell you that this will be the beginning of your days of glory. Amen. This will be the beginning of your days of glory. Step into it by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. We raise your banner. We shine your light so ladies every spirit that appears to you in dreams sleeping with you in dreams and destroying your destiny anything good that is about i'm praying for everybody but i'm hearing ladies in my spirit to deliver ladies from this spirit good things are about to happen to you and then you have a dream and all kinds of spirits molest you and that's it i'm praying i'm seeing 23 there are more than this but particularly 23 people the lord is bringing strange deliverance for them right now wherever they are in the name of jesus may the fire of the holy spirit from inside this auditorium to the overflows outside online let there be complete emancipation for such people in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ my dear this lady wearing pink lift your hands Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. I'm seeing the Lord take something out of your body. We're about to pray for the sick. But the Lord is taking something out of your body. That's why I told you to shout that name. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the power of infirmity is broken over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, very quickly, our time is gone we are going to be very very fast are we together um, if you are trusting God listen carefully whether you are in overflow one overflow two overflow three if what you have please listen if what you have is a terminal disease a terminal disease is something that is akin to a death sentence are we together 
like a death sentence you know what i mean i don't have to mention names please whether you're in overflow one two three be fair be honest i will want to minister by myself to you now number two those in here you can come out and you're trusting god for healing for you or for your loved ones overflow one please to your projector stand overflow two same thing to your projector stand overflow three to your projector stand so if you do not belong to this category that i particularly requested to come please god is here make sure you are sincere make sure you are honest i like all of you to come stand i'm about to minister and there will be men and women of god scattered across those by the roadside i don't know what overflow that will be let's say an extension overflow four you will join overflow two and then there will be men of god ministering by the spirit please because of time you do not just a touch is enough we're functioning together under a corporate anointing so you don't have to particularly except if they have a personal prophetic word for you you don't have to just waylay them and harass them and say look this and that and that just stand by faith as soon as they pray for you you go back to your seat you check yourself you must return with your testimony if it's a medical report whatever it is i'd like you to just come believing hallelujah praise the lord in the name of jesus i decree and declare that together as a team under the anointing of the holy spirit overflow one overflow two overflow three and those online we agree that this touch becomes a touch that will birth your miracle and your testimony in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now as as we pray for you worship team please help us whilst we are doing that how many of you have your prayer requests you have your prayer request please wave it so while this is happening usher's pr department please join them uh and then if, if if there's a need for that maybe the protocol department can help let's collate the prayer requests very quickly so that we can speak over it immediately we'll be very fast please um dear people of god let's be very fast as we minister to them so that we can um finish up on time blessed be the name of the lord for those of you standing here i want you to believe there is a god in heaven and that this touch becomes a supernatural touch doesn't matter what the situation is release your faith in jesus name god bless you um i'll just just stand on them because of time please if you are yet to submit your prayer request it's not a ritual you can wave it and an usher or someone will quickly please if you're under the anointing you can wave it or tell them where it is and they'll pick it for you please quickly quickly those online connect by faith stretch your hands here and let's pray father we decree and we declare we just have a minute for this in the name of jesus christ stretch your hands and prophesy libras kadabrando sharikatosia brother the same way we are standing on these requests in the name of jesus this is establishing your dominion above every challenge above every situation in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we decree by the power of the holy spirit every impossible situation here we turn it around right now in the name of jesus we turn it around believe 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 we turn it around in the name of jesus we turn it around in the name of jesus we turn it around in the name of jesus we turn it around in the name of jesus this is a strategy that the Lord delivered to us, a representation of your pain, your stress, that which attempts to challenge God over your life. No matter how many times we prophesy, we are limited. And this is an opportunity to have everyone. It's like tabling your heart before God. There is a God that answers prayers. This is not a ritual. That's why we bring it before him. And let me tell you, we have we have heard of marvelous testimonies from this and i believe that in this year of extraordinary fruitfulness that this that you have dropped here before the lord in the name of jesus as you have brought it before him 
it will never if it's a tragic situation it will never return to you again and if it is a request that must appear in your life then i decree and declare i don't know how it will happen like the prophet said you may not see wind you may not see rain yet the valley shall be filled with water i prophesy i decree and declare in the name that is above all names by the god of all grace your answer will find its way to your life even if it means happening through your enemy or happening to a man that has vowed not to help you may my god make it happen for you in the name of jesus christ and i prophesy to you that these egyptians you see today that you see them no more forever you see them no more forever you see them no more forever in the name of jesus christ for many of you even before this month is over in the name of jesus you will tick your list one by one one by one one by one one by one in the name of jesus we decree it so by the power of the holy spirit we decree it so by the blood of the lamb we decree it so by the word of god we establish it it is done in the name of jesus christ let me pray for you now this will be um the first time we're doing this in a miracle service for the year why do i round up the services with a prophetic word because i believe in the power of prophecy and it is also a spiritual mechanism to send the word to you wherever you are are we together now you don't have to be called as an individual the word of god comes is yours for you to receive and then you see the creative potentials in that word people's lives have changed some overnight just because a word came and now it's about to come again let me tell you do you know that i listen to the miracle service messages myself and i receive all the prayers from the man of god just because i'm the vessel being used by god does not exempt me from receiving too i listen to the messages and god is my witness i follow every prayer with all my heart sincerely are we together now so believe this and you will see it work in your life it is only what you believe that will work are we together favor like never before in the name of jesus beginning from this night may he follow you like a shadow follows a man i say it again favor like never before from tonight may he follow you in the name of jesus christ strange favor strange favor activating possibilities in your life strange favor in the name of jesus christ number two i decree and i declare by the power of the holy spirit every overdue issue in your life an issue that has stayed long beyond necessary in the name of jesus christ i declare that this is the season of strange settlement over your life may my god the god of all grace establish and settle you in every area in the name of jesus christ every long-standing issue comes to an end now everything that misrepresents you before your helpers the spirit that creates a bad image in the presence of those who can help and lift you there is such an operation of darkness that when men desire to help you something happens around your life in the name of jesus it comes to an end now in the name of jesus it comes to an end now i pray for you in in this season you need wisdom not sophia not the wisdom of men not the princes of this world but the wisdom that comes from above that is accompanied with mighty works it says i will give you a wisdom 
and a mouthpiece that none of your adversary can gain say nor resist i decree and declare receive this strange order of wisdom receive this supernatural dimension of wisdom in the name of jesus christ the level of anointing that you must be upgraded to in this season so that the hand of god will be evident on your life i stretch my hands let there be a baptism of that anointing upon you now let there be a baptism of that anointing upon you now if you are in ministry let there be a baptism of that anointing now for every leader here let there be a baptism of that anointing now everyone do for promotion your place of work or your standing in for your your loved ones i decree and declare we announce and we establish their rising in the mighty name of jesus christ the spirit that continues to minister to you that you will die and that you will not see the end of this year you will die during election you will die during this and that a crisis will happen and you'll be a victim of this i silence the voice of that spirit now i decree and declare whether by road whether by air whether through the operation of the wickedness in men remain ever exempted from death In the name of Jesus, may you be too late for tragedy. If it will cause shame, you will not be found there. If it will cause pain, you will not be found there. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that whatever it is you're involved with, whether it's your career, the works of your hands, your business, whatever it is, that God uses as a channel to increase your influence, to bless people, and to empower you. In the name of Jesus, may grace be multiplied upon it. In the name of Jesus, may grace be multiplied upon it. In the name of Jesus, may grace be multiplied upon it. Some of you at the beginning of the year, your prayer life is already down. It's too early. Your word life already down. No appetite to study scripture no appetite to pray whether you sleep by eight o'clock or by ten you will still wake up by eight the next day this one is a spirit it's no longer tiredness anything you don't have control over has been hijacked over by satan god gives his beloved sleep it is true but slumber is of the devil there is a difference between slumber and sleep one of the differences is control there are some of us even if you sleep by two in the afternoon you will wake up by eight or nine the next day until good things finish before you wake up it's a spirit i curse it from your life now. you will go to bed when you want to and you will wake up when you need to in the name of jesus christ God has declared over us, but let me declare again over our finances. Please, I will continue to say this. They prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. I decree and declare, this is the season that you step into overflow. In the name of Jesus Christ. No one connected to this grace, no one connected to this vision goes down financially. And I pray for you, those of us who have little groups, ministries, fellowships that were helping and building other believers. And for a long time you have seen that it's like your grace is pecked at a level. Nothing new, nothing fresh, I decree after this miracle service step into a new order of spiritual operation whatever needs to be restored in your life before february 
restoration restoration to bring back i command it to your life now in the name of jesus anywhere we are not praying for crisis during this election but in the name of jesus any pocket of reprisal or whatever that will arise by the finger of god may you be far from that environment may your children be far from that environment may your parents and your loved ones be far from that environment Whatever it is that you have asked the Lord that I have not mentioned here, but is a desperate desire in your heart, I release my faith with you as touching the grace given unto me. In the name of Jesus, let it be turned to your testimony. Two more prayer points. May the spiritual fire on your altar, the fire that once called people to you the fire that was responsible for your honor the fire that was responsible for your influence whatever made that fire go down or blew it out in the name of jesus we fan your coals back to flames whatever has shot your appetite for knowledge you used to be a student of knowledge you buy books you are online learning and growing but for some reason whether carelessness complacency or just an attack now there is no appetite to know and to grow i declare that after this night may the grace that causes men to seek god and seek after truth may that grace be released upon you Let me add one more prayer no matter where your loved ones are on this earth whether in this country or outside of this country within this continent or outside of this continent whether in health or not whether following this service or not we decree and declare may the hand the help and the favor of god locate them and even as you are receiving and celebrating testimonies May your loved ones have the same experience in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wave your hands and give Jesus praise. Father, we glorify you. We bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm walking in the reality of every prophetic word. Thank you. I receive every grace. I receive every word in the name of Jesus except if you're under the anointing I like us to honor in one minute we will always do this we're a ministry that believes in soul winning we believe in giving people an opportunity to meet Jesus and um, even though our time is gone necessity is laid upon us to give someone an opportunity to find God's saving grace tonight. Let's minimize distraction, please. And so for all those here sitting, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, uh, the roadside, those connecting online and those in the main auditorium, you are here tonight and the Holy Spirit is ministering to you that you need to make this year different. You need to give God an opportunity to start afresh with you could be that you have given your heart to the Lord but you need that assurance you truly need to rededicate your life to say Lord I'm handing over everything we have just a minute or two for you if you are sitting in overflow one two and the roadside and in here I would request you to come just stand in front here and then those at overflow three for the sake of time and distance, I would request that you just walk to your projector stand. And then those following online, you can just follow me as I lead you through this prayer. Two minutes. 
the lord is speaking to you please summon the courage arise let's encourage them make your way to the front god bless you those coming from outside please hurry up clear the way for them please god bless you god bless you there's nothing compulsory in the kingdom but the benefits are worth the while make your way quickly someone outside is saying apostle i want to come but i'm a bit ashamed there's nothing to be ashamed of make your way run to jesus if you're coming please come quickly there are contemplations happening in your spirit while you are sitting down you know you need to be here the devil will not ask you to be here the fact that there is a prompting to be here is a sign that the holy spirit is ministering to you win that war get up from your seat and come apostle what if my colleagues see me it's good they see you so that they become witnesses of your transformation make your way quickly we have just one more minute for you for those of you clapping in the name of jesus this is how many will honor you because you are committing yourself to encourage those who are coming to jesus hallelujah praise the lord thank you so much i understand that in the day and age that we live in it takes a lot of courage to be very vocal on a decision like this we live in a time where people pride themselves in being sarcastic they pride themselves in laughing at others especially when you are doing something spiritual jesus said whoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away i honor and i truly celebrate all of you for the courage to stand even in the presence of everyone May I request that you just lift your right hand as a sign of surrender and repeat this truthfully after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart and I believe in you that you are the Son of God. Tonight, I hand over my heart, my mind, my body, my life to your Lordship. I declare that you are Lord of my life I declare that I exchange my life for your life I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign in life the power of sin of Satan of the flesh is broken over my life now and forever amen keep your hands lifted jesus thank you for these precious ones they have made a decision for many of them the first time for many of them securing their eternal destinies i decree and i declare that the grace that helps people to stand to thrive and to excel in this kingdom may that grace come upon you i open you to the ministry of the holy spirit and the ministry of the word that is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified i plant in you tonight a fresh hunger and passion for the things of the spirit in the name of jesus christ and i declare i dissociate you from anything that can impede your spiritual growth may you enjoy the help of god in jesus name i pray amen and amen thank you dear brothers and sisters let me request that you follow there's a lady waving her hands please all of you follow her in concert she will lead you to a committee that will welcome you more formally on our behalf is this the best you can do koinonia blessed be the name of the lord hallelujah dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.